national titles, Oklahoma's won seven, Ohio State five. Heisman's, Oklahoma's won five, Ohio State seven. Victories, Oklahoma's got 873, Ohio State's got 887. They've had 818 combined NFL draft picks. And AP named these two programs the best ever in college football history. And they are back on the same field tonight in Columbus. We go down now to midfield. Chris Plank, the coin flip. Orlando Brown Jr., Stephen Parker the second, Oboe, Okwankwo, and of course, Baker Mayfield shaking hands with the captains for Ohio State, including JT Bear Price is out here as well, too. The next voice you'll hear will be Big 12 referee Mike DeFee, whose crew is in charge of maintaining control this evening. Okay, gentlemen. My name is Mike DeFee. I'm your referee tonight. This is your umpire, Robert Richardson. Oklahoma, you're the visitor. This is heads. This is tails. This is tails. This is heads. What's your call? Tails. Tails? tails and you didn't hear it. Baker call. Mayfield calls tails. It is? It is heads. You won the toss. You want to defer. You want the ball. Would there you we go. Toby, you had asked Lincoln Riley if right Oklahoma wins the toss if they wanted the football. Ohio the Sooners State don't have a choice here. Toss, Ohio State, as you hear from Mike DeFee, half. wins the toss. They have deferred to the second half. Oklahoma will get the football to start this game. Let's have a good game. 40 years ago, a 41-yard field goal gave Oklahoma one of its signature moments and signature wins. Tonight, a young man who was still six years from birth on that day of the kick leads the Crimson and Cream back to Columbus looking for an upset win over the nation's number two ranked team and perhaps another win for Sooner Lore. Final thoughts time. Guys, we'll start on the field. Chris, Teddy. One thing, Ted, we didn't do is we didn't put Baker Mayfield in one of our spotlights. And as Toby just laid out, hands down the key this evening. After the game against Ohio State last year, he put it on himself. He pointed the finger at himself, said he needed to be better. The Sooners haven't lost since that date. Number six needs to be at his best tonight. And you know this. Teddy, it won't be from a lack of effort and intensity. There's no doubt about it. He's amped up right now as he just finishes warming up and running back down to meet the rest of his offense. That's it. We're going to get to see the matchup we've all been waiting for, you know, all offseason. This really good defensive line, as Shiano says, uh, the best he's ever coached. And our offensive line ranked number one in the country. Here comes a matchup, and we're going to be able to tell early on who's, who's amped up and who's ready to play. Coach Burr, final thought? Got to play a 60-minute game. Don't ever give up, no matter how disappointed you are in a particular play or how happy you are. You got to fight this thing all the way to the end, because it's not going to be over early. Sooners will have the ball going left to right here in the first corner. Jeff Bennett, Michael Jones are deep to receive. Lake Hobble will kick it off for Ohio State. Both teams in their traditional uniforms for Ohio State. That is scarlet jerseys, gray pants, gray helmets. Oklahoma, white jerseys, crimson helmets with the interlocking OU. Oklahoma, Ohio State, a matchup of college football giants. Kickoff is high and short and returnable. It is Bidette up the right side, 15, 20, 25, and he is chopped down across the 25-yard line. Toby Baker Mayfield sitting by himself on the bench. No teammates around him. Head down, deep in thought. The man is focused as he leads the Sooners on the field here for this first drive. Oklahoma will start on the 29-yard line. Backs to the north end zone. Headed for the famous South End Zone, where Uwe von Schaman made history four decades ago. It'll be Jeffrey Mead, Abdul Adams, C.D. Lamb, and Mark Andrews at the skill positions. Dimitri Flowers also went at fullback. Sooners line up at a power pistol. Two receivers left, one to the right. From their own 29, Baker approaches the line of scrimmage with further instructions. Now backs into the shotgun. Flowers moves tight end left. There's the first snap of the game. It is a keeper throw across the middle, caught by Dimitri Flowers. Right at the first down marker, he's taken down. Baker faked the handoff, then chunked it to his fullback, Dimitri Flowers, for a gain of nine and a half. It'll be second and one. And I think they're going to find a way to get Dimitri Flowers the ball a bunch in this game. Presents a tough matchup for those linebackers for the Ohio State. Same formation, but Flowers at the right side of the line this time. Abdul Adams sent to the right of Baker. Mayfield's got it. He will hand to Adams. Big hole left side, 40. First down, stiff arm, and he's brought down at the 45-yard line. 
Two plays, and the Sooners have their first first down of the night. Looked like it might have been a horse collar downhill uh, field level, Toby. No personnel change for the Sooners. They'll go four wide this time with Flowers in a slot to the left. First and 10 from their own 45-yard line. Some late changes for Ohio State. Our guys moving around on the defensive side. Baker waiting for the snap now. Now he steps for Eric Wren. Barks out something else. Still 12 seconds to snap it. Plenty of time. And Flowers has been in a different spot on every single snap. There's the snap. Quick throw. Knocked down. Intended for Mark Andrews. It was Tyquan Lewis that batted it out of the air. It'll be second and 10. They are good at that. That's how they got their first or second touchdown against us last year. That number 11 I was talking about tipped the ball in the air. They caught it, took it all the way home. Second and 10 from the Sooner 45-yard line. Mead, Andrews to the right, Lamb to the left. Flowers tight end right. Snap, Baker. Handoff, Abdul Adams makes one man miss, gets across the line of scrimmage, and dives forward for three. That's a new play right there, Toby, that we haven't seen from this offense yet. That's a trap play, trying to take advantage of this D-line that flies up the field really aggressively. Chris Worley, the tackle. Jeff Bedette subs in for OU. Third and seven. First third down to the game. Sooners go five wide, empty formation here. Evans versus Bosa over on the right side is going to be a big matchup here. Rush men package, four defensive ends on the field for Ohio State. Baker back to pass, floats left, throws across the middle, caught. C.D. Lamb has the first down into Ohio State territory. A tough catch in traffic by the freshman. Move the chains. Great job by the quarterback. <laughs> to the Ohio State 42, a pickup of 10 yards on third and seven. Second first down of this drive. Oklahoma works now in Buckeye territory. Bedette and Andrews stack to the right side of the formation. Direct snap to Abdul Adams. He takes it over the left side. 40, 35, down to the 34-yard line. Little trickery there. They snapped it directly to Abdul Adams, who was standing next to Baker Mayfield, and he carried it for eight. Second and two. Sooners want to go quickly here. Flowers tied in right. Still Adams in the backfield. 12.40 to go first quarter. Opening possession of the game. Sooners have marched it from their own 29 to the Ohio State 34. Mayfield directing traffic, changing something. Turns around, says something to Adams. Points at the ground, takes the football. Hand off Adams, hit in the backfield, and he'll be dropped for a loss. That play looked discombobulated from before the snap. There's some D-line movement. The front stunned for the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes. They move those big physical D-linemen, try and move them into opposite gaps and confuse the offensive line. Loss of two to the 36. It is third and four. Michael Jones in, Flowers out. You've got Bedette and Andrews to the right side of the formation. Jones and Lamb to the left with Adams in the backfield. Sooners have to get it to the 32 for a first down. Ten on the play clock. Bedette in motion. Baker's got it. Back to pass. Throws right side. It is incomplete. Bedette made a juggling catch, but he was out of bounds before he came down with it. This would be a long field goal from here, so let's see if the Sooners try to go for it. It's at the 36. It would be a 53 or 54-yard try, and I think they're going for it. They are. Fourth down. Sooners 0 of 2 on fourth down a week ago. They'll go five wides here. Ohio State's confused, guys. Late substitutions for the Buckeyes. Fourth and four from the Ohio State 36. Snap to Mayfield. Looking left, throwing left, takes a deep shot down the sidelines, and it's too far. It's incomplete, intended for C.D. Lamb. No flags, and the Sooners turn it over on downs. We saw some interesting stuff there. We threw a, the kind of the gamut at him there in this opening drive, trying to mess with him a little bit mentally. We moved Flowers all over the formations, uh, direct snap to Abdul Adams. So Lincoln Riley's got a big playbook this week so far. True freshman Mike Backer and Murray. Barrett out of the shotgun. Pointing at the OU linebackers. Now they send a man in motion, K.J. Hill. Barrett's got it. He pitches to Dobbins right side, cuts it up to the 40, and he's chopped down there. It'll be a gain of four. 
Will Johnson, the tackle. You can see his shiftiness right there. Only a four-yard play, but he's explosive when he makes a cut. Second and six. Barrett fakes the handoff. Rolls right, looking. Hit as he throws, and he threw it into the Sooner bench. Had to get rid of it. That was Emmanuel Beal with the pressure intended for K.J. Hill, or at least he was the closest receiver. And here comes the first third down of the night for Ohio State. Third and six from the 40. Sooner substitute late. Move it around. Back to pass. J.T. Parrott looks right. Throws across the middle. It is caught. Hit. Drop. Short of the first down. Will Johnson the tackle. It'll be fourth down and two. Pass was caught by Paris, Paris Campbell at the 44. And Ohio State's going to go three and out on their opening possession. And that's that rush package we saw last year against Texas Tech where Bolton comes in and they run a bunch of line movement up front, creates the confusion on the offensive line, and he's pressing the quarterback pretty quickly. That's that good package last year. That's the first time we've seen it so far this year. There's some confusion on the Ohio yeah, State sidelines. No, they may have something going here. I think they only have 10 guys. One, two, yeah, here comes the 11th guy on the field. They've got five to snap it. Now a guy runs off. Now I think they only have ten. And there's going to be a delay of game. You don't have enough on line of scrimmage. I know that. Delay of game. Yeah. Huh. Um, delay of game on the offense. Number 91. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Urban Meyer is the special teams coach for Ohio State. And there was some obvious confusion on their sidelines. And now there is... Uh, Urban is asking why the clock wasn't reset. It shouldn't have been reset there. They'll mark him back to the 39. And Jeff Bedette deep to receive for Oklahoma. 10-24 to go first quarter. Good start by the Sooner defense in this one. The punter is Drew Chrisman, a freshman from Cincinnati. He averaged 45.3 yards a punt last week against the Hoosiers. Snap back. Kick is away. High spiraling kick, a good one. Bidette calls for a fair catch, moving to his left, takes it inside the 10-yard line. A 51-yard punt. And the Sooners will start at their own nine. What do you think so far, Merv? Uh, it's hard to tell. I think that uh, if we can continue offensively, I think we got a chance here. Mayfield's got it. Jet sweep. That's a handoff. Sweeping right side to the 10. Has a hole 15 and across and across to the 17. Bedette on the jet sweep handoff. He takes it from the 9 to the 17. A gain of 8. It shows some good patience there. Let's those blocks out in front of him take place before he puts a toe in the ground and turns it upfield. That's a nice job. Adams and Flowers in the backfield. Bedette, Andrews, and Lamb are your wideouts. Second and two. Power pistol loaded right. Eric Wren, early movement. You've got Samia and Draymond Jones. It looked like Jones jumped and Samia reacted. Let's see who they throw the flag on here. It's one of those moves that Wren is jerking his head up right before he snaps it really quickly, and then he'll set for a second or two before he actually snaps the football. They may call this on him. Offside. Defense, number 86. In the neutral zone, causing the offense to react. Five-yard penalty. Guarded results in a first down. Our referee tonight, Mike Defee, his crew, Robert Richeson, Al Green, Derek Anderson, Joe Bluebaugh, Lo Van Pham, Terry Jones, Marvel July, and Brandon Cruz. Sooners get a first down out to the 22 on the penalty. Flowers always in a different spot, it seems. Tight end left this time. Adams the running back. Snap to Baker. Fakes a handoff. Looks left. Throws left. Caught. 30-yard line. That's CD. First down. 35. And the Sooners get 12. They'll move the chains again. Baker to Lamb. Second catch already for the freshman in this game. A gain of 13 on that play. So far, a 0-0 game. But the Oklahoma offense has had more success than the Ohio State offense in the first six minutes of this one. Direct snap, Abdul Adams again, weaving his way through traffic to the 40. Levels a blow on a defensive back that came up to make the tackle. That was Eric Smith. A nice gain to the 41, a pickup of six. Baker hobbles off. Uh-oh. Baker Mayfield to the sidelines, and Kyler Murray comes in. He was, he was moving his leg around a little bit, his right leg, before that snap right there. Uh-oh. 
major storyline here. Baker Mayfield on the ground on the Sooner sideline having his right leg worked on. Kyler Murray at quarterback. Trey Sermon in at running back. Snap to Murray. He hands it off. Trey Sermon looking for a hole wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Loss of one, actually, back to the 40. Fakes back up. Uh, He's okay. They're was that a fake? No, I don't think it was a fake, guys. I think they were working on a calf cramp. But it, I'll tell you what, he recovered rather quickly. Already? So. He's cramping? <laughs> he recovered so quickly. That's an interesting perspective you just brought up because he popped up in a heartbeat. If it was a fake, it's a good one because he was working on it the play before. All right, third and five. Miles tees into the game. Slot left. Sooners have to get it to the 45 for a first down. 7.50 to go. First quarter, no score. Abdul Adams back in at running back. Baker looks at Bidette. Takes the snap. Straight drop. Steps up. Looking. Throws across the middle. Caught first down. Ohio State territory. It's C.D. Lamb again. Third catch for the kid to the Ohio State 45, move the chains, a pickup of 15. He just finds his way in behind the backers and in front of the safeties. They lose him as Baker Mayfield looks like he was threatening to run, drew the attention of the linebackers who stepped up. Great job by the OUO line that time on third down, held up extra time for Baker. Second time the Sooners have been in Ohio State territory, blitz up the middle, Baker trying to get away, he's surrounded, scrambles left, throws left, it is caught! No, oh, dropped! Oh my! That would have been a miracle. It'll be second and ten. Baker worked wonders not to take a sack there and almost turned it into a first down. And Lamb couldn't hang on. That was a protections fault right there. <clears throat> Mayfield Somehow. took a pretty good shot. He timed up that blitz right up the middle. I believe it was Worley coming in there. And uh, the back had to dive in, and that left Baker Mayfield exposed. I don't know. Mayfield looks pretty good. I'm, I'm calling Hollywood on the bringing Kyler Murray in the game. I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, well, hopefully. There was no delay with Kyler jogging on yep. the field. He I was mean, ready, wasn't he? Second and 10 from the Ohio State 45. Snap. Mayfield keeps it himself up the middle. He's wrapped up in the backfield. It was a zone read. Buckeyes had it covered well. Sam Hubbard slapped him down for a two-yard loss. And Hubbard really played both the running back and the quarterback there. That's where you see this athletic defensive line. I mean, they're really good across the board so far. They've moved all over the place. He, I think he's even taking a snap in the interior. Third and 12. Sooners two of three so far on third downs. They go five wides. Mayfield all alone in the backfield. They got to get to the 35 for a first down. Mayfield says, hang on a second. I'm going to change something. Seven on the play clock. He's got Tease and Lamb out wide left. Three to snap it. There it is. Mayfield straight drop. Across the middle, that is caught. Andrews can't quite get to the first down, but it's a gain of 10, and that'll give him a shot here to maybe go for it. Ball's on the 38, so make it a gain of nine. It'll be fourth and three, and they're going to go for it again in almost the exact same spot as before. Pretty good protection right there. They uh, slipped that number 11 inside there with a twist deal with the nose guard, and they got it picked up pretty good. Jeffrey Mead in. He and Mark Andrews right side of the formation. C.D. Lamb to the left. Dimitri Flowers in, tight end left. The back is Adams. Fourth and three. In motion, Lamb. Snap, Mayfield rolling right, looking, looking, under pressure, steps up, scrambles to his right, still looking, throws it deep for the end zone for Andrews, and it's incomplete, and flags are down. Mark Andrews. A lot of face guarding on that, Toby. Baker Mayfield looked like he was trying to get through a Halloween maze there to keep that play alive. Somehow snuck out the side door, heaved it deep, and they drew a flag. And it's really smart. When it's fourth down Passing and you're going to turn it over anyways. Defense. Number seven, 15-yard penalty, automatic. Damon Webb, the flag. I love that play by Baker. If you know you're going to turn it over on downs anyways, throw it deep. Who knows? Maybe you trust Andrews to go up and make a play, or maybe exactly this happens. You draw that flag. Move it to the 23. 535 to go first quarter. Sooners in striking distance now. Time of possession heavily in their favor so far in this game. Out of the shotgun, Bedette goes in motion right to left. Fake handoff. Now they give it to Adams up the middle. Met ball pops out. It's loose. Scramble for it. Ohio State has it. Buckeyes have recovered. 
Abdul Adams took a pop at the line of scrimmage and coughed it up. I think it was one of the safeties came up and squared him up in the hole. It looked like he put his helmet right on the ball. 529 to go first quarter and the first turnover of the game is forced by Ohio State. It was that Mike Backer that have Worley who wore us out last year with 10 tackles. Chris Worley forced it. Jay Sean Cornell recovered it. Still no score in Columbus. Though the Sooners just turned it over. Auburn six, Clemson nothing. Second quarter in that game. Georgia three, Notre Dame three. First quarter in that one. Here it's no score, 529 to go in the first. J.K. Dobbins again at running back. J.T. Barrett, of course, at quarterback and three wideouts from their own 25. Buckeyes in red home jerseys going right to left here in the first. Here we go. Barrett walks toward his offensive line. Final instructions, backs into the gun. Dobbins to his right. There's the snap. They run right. Keeper, Barrett has room across the 35, and Will Johnson brings him down, but it's the first first down of the night for Ohio State as Barrett takes it for 12. That's the speed option there. They press the edge right away. Backer has to get out in front of that tackle and that guard to get out on the next level. That's tough. Barrett wants to throw this time. Looking middle under pressure, being chased, goes to the right, and he'll toss it into the Sooner bench. Great coverage by Oklahoma. Caleb Kelly with pressure. Neville Gallimore and Obo Okronkwo there. It'll be second and 10. I'm surprised so far that Ohio State's come out and been trying to throw the ball. I, I figured they were going to try and run to set up the pass. Pistol look here. Dobbins just about a yard behind Barrett. Really tight to his quarterback. Three wide outs, tight end left. Now Dobbins moves to the left of Barrett. Snap. Fake handoff. Barrett back to pass. Twist up front across the middle. Throws it. Caught at the 45. Flag flies. Will Johnson's been everywhere so far. He brings down the tight end, Marcus Ball. About a yard shy of the first down, but the flag came from the OU secondary. It's a hold. It's just a matter of who it's on right now. I think it's going to be on Ohio State. Holding. Defense, ah. number 11. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic, first down. Tubby, I think it was Stephen Parker they got. So when they were talking to Stephen Parker, I thought it might be about the penalty. It was just letting him know what he had done wrong. So tough break for the Sooners there. That'll move it to the 47. Second first down of this drive for Ohio State. 5.04 to go first quarter. And I know they completed that to the tight end over the middle, but still, JT Barrett does not look comfortable at all throwing the football right now. Ted Sooners are getting pretty good pressure on him, too. Trips left, one to the right. Tight pistol look again. Having to come with the option this way right now. We don't have enough people to turn it in. Dobbins now moves to the left of Barrett. Barrett's got the football. Inside handoff, no keeper. Barrett around the left end, dives forward to the 50. A gain of two. They're going to say he was down at the 49. D.J. Ward, the tackle on the zone read. Q. Overton in the game. He had a fumble recovery last week. Second and eight. Three receivers tied in left. Out of the shotgun. Barrett wanted the snap, then he changed his mind. Two steps forward, two steps back. He's got the football. Option right. Barrett keeps it up to the 45, puts his head down near the first down. A yard shy to the Sooner 44. First time tonight, Ohio State's been in Sooner territory. It'll be third and one. That speed option keeps coming to that right side, and it's tough for those linebackers whenever those the offensive line, the tackle specifically right now, is up to the next level. He's getting that block on uh, Kenneth Murray. Snap, Barrett. Handoff, Dobbins up the middle, hits sideways at the line of scrimmage, but has the first down. Q Overton on the hit. Needed one, got two. Ohio State gets another first down, this time to the Sooner 41-yard line. Tyrese Lotz, the freshman from Ardmore High School, into the game. Yeah, they're working on the shoulder pads right now. Matt Romar, quick little adjustment, so he'll be ready to get back in. He was coming unbuckled. They got him straightened out. Ohio State offense not exactly moving quickly here. They're not huddling up, but they're taking their time. Four wides. First and 10 from the Sooner 41. 3.25 to go in the quarter. Hill in motion right to left. 
Fake pitch. Back to pass Barrett under pressure, and he is sacked back at the 50. Two suitors were there, Emmanuel Beal and Obo Okronkwo. Obo hit him first, and Beal finished him off. It's a loss of nine. Obo with a real nice inside move there. Set him up with speed on the outside. Whenever he committed and turned his shoulders, he dipped right inside. That's a real nice move. Make it a loss of eight to the Sooner 49, second and 18. Matt Romar back in. Buzzy Bolton in as well. Whistles, what do we got here? I think Ohio State wants to talk about things. Timeout, Buckeyes. Ohio State takes its first charge timeout of the half. 30 seconds. Sooner football brought to you by Zip Recruiter, a proud hiring partner of the Oklahoma Sooners. Coach, the Oklahoma defense seems to be somewhat confusing Ohio State's offense right now. They do look a little bit confused. The defense is <clears throat> playing pretty aggressively and has been in pretty good position. The little quick option is really the only thing that I think has hurt them, uh, where he sprints out there and either keeps it. And keeping it has been best for him. The pitch hadn't been there. Uh, other than that, the defense is playing pretty well, and they're getting some people in the backfield on passes. Zeddy? Yeah, I agree with Coach. I, You know, and I said earlier, JT Barrett just doesn't look comfortable throwing the football. I think the coverage is good downfield, and like Coach said, we're getting pressure on him. He just doesn't look comfortable. I, he's not throwing on time. He's had to throw the ball away a couple of times, and then Oboe getting to him there on that last that last down there is going to make it even worse for him. Here we go, second and 18 from the Sooner 49. Out of the shotgun, JT Barrett. He's got a tight end left. He's got a running back. J.K. Dobbins left. Barrett's got it. Looks left. Lobs it out to Dobbins. Caught in Ohio State territory. Swims by one man. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Sooners swarm to the football. Oboe was there. Will Johnson there again. Will Johnson, it's like they copied and pasted him tonight. He is everywhere. Third down and 18. That was really good uh, coverage by the secondary and the linebackers. They had enough people out there to take care of whatever happened. And a really good pursuit from the interior defensive line and linebacker. Four tackles already tonight for Will Johnson. Ohio State has to get to the Sooner 31 for a first down. Third and 18. Snap. Barrett. Straight drop. Looking right. Steps up. Has time. Throws late. It is knocked away. Will Johnson. Will Johnson again. Pass intended for Paris Campbell. And Will Johnson had him covered like a wet blanket. And Ohio State will kick. The most excited Sooner right now, Toby, might be Jordan Parker standing up. He traveled with the team on the bench. Can't play, but still here supporting the team, lead the cheers. 2.07 to go first quarter. A scoreless first quarter. Jeff Bidette stands on the Sooner 10-yard line. Awaiting the punt from Drew Chrisman. Chrisman's got the football. Puts it skyward with backspin. Bidette calls for a fair catch, scoots up a couple of yards, and takes it at around the 12, 13-yard line. A 36-yard punt. Can you guess what the scene was like around Will Johnson when he came back to the bench, guys? Like a mob scene. Justin Broyles right now in his ear firing him up. There's a great energy around this defense, and you can almost sense the offense feeding off of it right now. Incredible performance that drive from Will Johnson. You know, a lot of people pointed at him. Last year after the Ohio State success, you can tell he's taking that very personally, Ted, here early on. Yeah, he is, and they look good. I mean, that the secondary has been locked down and, you know, coming up and making plays in the run. The speed option's really the only thing, like Coach mentioned, that they've had so far. And, I'm, again, I'm surprised that Ohio State's not trying to establish the run first. They're trying to throw. 25 total yards so far for Ohio State. Trey Sermon in at running back, the true freshman. Baker hands it to him. Sermon up the middle, puts his shoulder down, dives across the 15 to the 16. That's a gain of three on first down. Last week, uh, Ohio State threw the entire first half and came out second half running the football. And uh, I don't know that that's a plan that they use, but uh, we're liable to see the same thing again tonight. 139 to go first quarter. Second and seven from the Sooner 16. Snap. Baker's got it. Fakes a handoff. Straight drop. Going to throw it across the middle. Caught. 30-yard line. Into the clear. 35 and down. Dimitri Flowers at the 36. Boy, he was running free. It's a gain of 20. Dimitri Flowers has been a significant part of the Oklahoma offense here in quarter number one. 
Sooners have pushed it from their own 13 to their own 36. They line up power pistol with Sermon deep. Three wideouts. Meade, Andrews, and Smallwood. Baker's got it. Handoff. Sermon running right. Makes a cut. Moves to the left. Gets around one man. He's going to get a couple. That's it. Did good to get it to the 38. It'll be second and eight. Pretty nice, nifty run in there, waiting on his blockers, finding some space to maneuver in. Even though it was just a couple yards, he showed some, some versatility there. It looked like he's a seasoned running back. Freshman from Marietta, Georgia. Sooners running, trying to keep him honest up front. Haven't been able to break off much yet in the run game. 30 seconds to go. Could be the final snap of the first. Second and eight from the 38. Baker's got it. Wants to throw. Screen caught Andrews up the middle 40 45 midfield two Buckeyes up ending there But the Sooners have taken it into Ohio State territory again a gain of 14 Mark Andrews on the tunnel screen great job of poise by the quarterback. They had everybody rushing Clocks running here Sooners have it at the 48 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Let's see if they let it expire I, I think they will, they will yeah we're not going to have to move the football much. The ball is on the right side of the O at midfield. They're going to have to move it to the left side of the O. A good first quarter for Oklahoma. No score in this game. But so far, Oklahoma's had the better of it. Let's see if they can take advantage of that here to start the second quarter. A lot of space in the interior, and JT Barrett is seeing that and just cutting up right in behind him where he's leaving that space. He's telling him to stay square, go up, and play the offensive lineman, put him back in the hole. That way he'll be able to play off of him and help off on Barrett. Coach Burt, first quarter thoughts? Well, we'll get Coach Burr's first quarter thoughts later. He is uh, microphone not working right now. Sooners have the ball first and 10 at the Ohio State 48-yard line. Three wide receivers. Flowers tight end right. In motion, but that stops. Baker's going to lob it to him out to the right. Bobbles the football, drops it. Incomplete, incomplete. They ruled it incomplete on the field. It was picked up by Ohio State. They said Bidette never had the football. Let's make sure this wasn't a lateral here. Here's the replay. Oof, boy, that's going to be close. I'm sure we're going to look at this again. Yeah, guys, this on the field, Toby, that looked, you're right, that looked like Ohio State football on a lateral. Really on the field was an incomplete pass. That plays under further review. Key thing here is there was a clear recovery by Ohio State. Well, he didn't ever have it. The question was, did he throw it behind the line of scrimmage? It was ruled an incomplete pass. Bidette bobbled it, dropped it, and it was scooped up immediately by Damon Webb, the safety. We need to see down the line here on the replay. Official reviews brought to you, as always, by Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law, the law firm you should turn to for all your personal injury needs. So speaking of injuries... Mark Andrews currently at the attention of head athletic trainer Scott Anderson and his staff, including director of rehabilitation Jim Hillis. Uh, it looks like they are looking at his left leg, so we'll keep an eye on Mark Andrews right now as he is at the attention of the Sooner athletic trainers and hope that it's nothing more than just maybe a minor little issue and he'll be able to return to the game, which means, Toby, a freshman at that tight end position, will be keeping an eye on Grant Calcaterra over the next few plays if uh, Mark Andrews can't get back in. Teddy, what do you think on the replay? Oh, boy. Um, a couple of replays, it looks to me like it's not conclusive. They just showed one from across the field where it was a little bit of in front of him where it does make it look like it's going backwards. As far as the incomplete catch, he did catch it, but I don't think he controlled it and never tucked it away. So I don't think they're going to rule it that it was a catch and a fumble. The only scenario here to me is if they rule that it was a backwards pass. After review, the pass was actually backwards. It was recovered by Ohio State at the 49 yard line. First down. Now, the second big mistake and turnover by the Oklahoma offense. The second fumble. And Ohio State takes over in Sooner territory. Damon Webb came up with this one. You hope you don't look back at the early part of this game. 
and Oklahoma's inability to take advantage of moving the football and regret it. They trail minus two in the turnover margin in this game. Ohio State will take over on the Sooner 49. One thing to look for if they continue to have success with that speed option, Toby, is there is play action off of it. Barrett will run down the line of scrimmage, then settle back into uh, into the pocket or into a passing posture, and they'll take a shot downfield. Shotgun, JT Barrett, four wide receivers. Mike Weber in at running back. Injured last week, the sophomore. The freshman All-American in for the first time in 2017. They're going to hand it to Weber. Sweeping right, has the corner into Sooner Territory, 45 to the 40, and dancing down the sidelines. He stepped out, they say, just across the 40. It'll be just shy of a first down, a gain of nine. Will Johnson forced him out. This may be the drive where they start to really try to establish the run. That's what they did last week on later. Second quarter, no score. Ohio State now moving left to right on your radio dial. Snap, Barrett, fake handoff, back to pass, looking middle, steps up, he'll run it himself, and he's hit hard, he's down, he's got the first down. Caleb Kelly, the tackle, at the 37, a gain of three. Boy, they're making him pay for it. He's already taken a couple of tough shots today. Toby, we'll try to get an update on Mark Andrews after this play. First and 10 at the Sooner 37. Weber to the right of Barrett. Tight end left is Ball. Split far left, McLaren. Snap, back to pass again. Barrett has time, throws deep, looking for the end zone. It is incomplete. Jordan Thomas in coverage on Terry McLaurin. I'm not sure if he got a piece of that or not. It went right through his fingertips. I do think that maybe Jordan Thomas touched it a little bit to knock it off course. Toby, they're doing the stability test right now on the left leg of Mark Andrews as he was on the sidelines. They cut out the tape from his knee and they started to reevaluate it. Lincoln Riley came over to get an update, but no word yet. We'll keep an eye on Mark Andrews and his what appears to be a left leg injury. That was a big time play by Jordan Thomas. If he didn't touch it, he certainly Blocked out McLaurin. Barrett keeps it himself. Looks like a busted play. He squeezes through a hole and gets to the 35, but that's it. Pretty good gang tackling there. Gain of two. Murray and Obo lead. there. That's a quarterback lead. He, he takes a look like he's going to throw quick to the left and then tucks it after the running back comes across and leads up on a linebacker. Third and eight from the 35. This is probably four down territory here. We'll see. Khalil Hotton, Chance Sylvie, and Sooners have four safeties on the field right now. Trips left, one to the right. Weber the back. Got to get to the 27 for a first down. Barrett looks back at the sidelines one more time. Now he goes up and down his line. He's got nine to snap it. Watch Bolton now. He is a nifty pass rusher. Four to snap it. Barrett's got it. Inside handoff, Weber. 30, first down, 25, and he's tackled by Khalil Hutton. They ran it on third and eight and picked it up. All the way to the 22, a gain of 13. Running back's coming out. And Weber hobbles off the field. J.K. Dobbins back in. Devontae Lampkin into the game. First time this year for OU. The sophomore nose guard from Houston. Trips left for Ohio State. Snap. It is a handoff to Nope Keeper Barrett. Throws out to the left. Caught. Nice fake there. 15. Swims by to the 10 yard line and down to the 8. K.J. Hill. Great fake by J.T. Barrett. And it's first and goal, Ohio State. Caleb Kelly the stop, but not until Hill got to the nine. Buckeyes trying to strike first here. Sooners need to cause a turnover. This is end over. This is the formation they ran at us a year ago. Trips right, tight end right. Snap to Barrett. He will keep it. Runs left side and tripped up in the backfield by Oboe. A three-yard loss to the 12, Okoronkwo. Sorry, Toby, I cut in there, but Obo pressing the edge. He read it. He saw the puller early on and came up from a little bit off the line of scrimmage and attacked it, made a great play. The goal here is force a field goal try. Second and goal from the 12. Barrett in the shotgun, Dobbins to his left, in motion right to left, Dixon. JT's got it, looking left, wants to throw, looking end zone, has time, floats to his right, still looking, directing traffic, hit as he throws toward the end zone, and he bounced it. It's incomplete. Good job. 
Intended for Austin Mack, Neville Gallimore in pursuit of JT Parrott. It'll be third down, and now we've got an injured sooner as Q Overton will limp off the field. Looks like he's grabbing his hamstring, perhaps. Tyrese Lott and Dylan Famatau in the game for OU on third and goal from the 12. Buckeyes go two receivers left, two to the right. Weber back in at running back. 11.54 to go, second quarter, no score. Barrett looks out to the receivers to the left, has some words for them. Sends Weber out to the right now. Snap, Barrett looking left, throws across the middle, caught, hit at the five-yard line, and down there. Will Johnson the tackle on Paris Campbell. It'll be fourth and goal from just beyond the five, and Ohio State's going to try a field goal. A little extra stretching on the right hammy of Q Overton. He initially just wanted some time, but again, the director of rehab, Jim Hillis over here, making sure he's okay. Mark Andrews up and walking around on the sideline. We'll see if he's able to return. Right now, Toby, he doesn't have his helmet. Chip it's shot here. Ball. Interesting play call there on goal, third and goal from the 12. You throw a three or four yard slant in the middle of the field. 23 yard try for Sean Nurnberger. Two for two last week. Snap good, hold good, kick is away, looks good, and is. And Ohio State scores first. Nice job, Oklahoma, keeping them out of the end zone. But a turnover gives Ohio State the first points of the game. And with 11-11 to go second quarter, make a wish. It's Ohio State 3, Oklahoma 0. Seemed to have his hammy cramp up on him just a bit. As I watch right now, Tiffany Bird, director of nutrition for the Sooners, giving some extra fluids for Q Overton. Looks like he's going to be okay and should be able to return. So we'll keep an eye on this uh, developing injury situation over here for the Sooners. Bedette and Michael Jones are deep for OU. Sooners backs to the south end zone here. Ohio State kickoff team sways their arms back and forth. There's the boot. This is returnable again. It comes down to Bedette at the 5. Up the right side. 10, 15, 20. Cuts outside. 25. Runs into his own man. Still on his feet to the 30 and out of bounds. Sooners took one ninety-seven on a kickoff return for a touchdown last year against the Buckeyes. That was Joe Mixon. Bedette takes this one out to the 30. Toby, let's keep an eye on the <clears throat> cramping situation for Baker Mayfield on this series. was a strategic clearing of the throat I felt by Chris Blank on that report. We'll see how this plays out. Officially spotted at the 29. And here comes the Sooner offense. I see C.D. Lamb and Dimitri Flowers. Grant Calcaterra, the freshman from Rancho Santa Margarita, California, who had a touchdown catch last week. He's in. Jeffrey Mead in the game. Split to the right. Sooners with 116 yards of offense to Ohio State 68 so far, but they don't have any points. Trey Sermon in a running back. Baker looks back at the sidelines at Lincoln Riley. 12 on the play clock. Final instructions for his teammates. Sermon moves to his left with five. There's the snap. Fake handoff. Baker looking, looking under pressure. Steps up. Watch out. They got him. Sacked at the 25. And Bosa had his hand on the football, Toby, and jarred it loose, and luckily Baker fell down on it. And he's favoring that right leg again. Sam Hubbard with the sack. Yeah, that, that gate right there, Toby, leads me to believe that maybe this isn't anything strategic and that Baker is having a bit of a calf situation. But that in, it'll be second and 15. Sooners behind the chains now. Second and 14, excuse me. You got CeeDee Lamb alone to the near side here. In motion, Bedette, snap, Baker, going to throw it to Bedette, out to the left, got to get to the corner, he does. 30, steps out, 35, first down, 40, 45, and at midfield, he's still on his feet, and they finally got him down. From the Bluegrass State, Jeff Bedette takes it to the Ohio State 44, a 29-yard pickup. 46, excuse me. That first down brought to you by Blue Line Rental, fast, safe, reliable construction equipment rentals. Sooners had second and 14 and picked it up. Now they're in Buckeye territory again. Creeping up for Ohio State's the safety, Isaiah Pryor. Excuse me, that's Eric Smith. Now he backs up into his spot. Baker telling Trey Sermon something to his right. Now he's 
claps his hands, rolling right. Mayfield wants to throw in pursuit, looking, looking, and he's going to heave it out of bounds. He stretched the play out as long as he could. <laughs> Nobody came open, and so he dumped it. It absolutely doinked right off the back of one of the security guards over here. So we got another injury. We're going to be keeping an eye on here for the Sooner defense. Without a doubt, most impressive defender in the first quarter, Will Johnson. He is at the attention of the athletic trainers right now. We'll double check on what they're looking at. Uh, but Will Johnson's status now up in the air for the rest of the game. But Chris, that's enough of that, all right? All right I'm Knock done. it off I'm down I'm turning there. my mic off from here on out. 9.37 to go second quarter. Second and 10 from the Ohio State 46. Buckeyes up 3-0. Mayfield with a freshman sermon behind him. Baker's got it. Fakes a handoff. Lobs across the middle. Dimitri wide open. 40, 35. First down, 30. He rumbles to the 26. First down. Move the chain. They gave that blitz away. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. They were all up there ready to come after him. He could have probably thrown to somebody out to the right side and got a catch too. Second big play of this drive. That one goes for 20. Sooners have first and 10 at the Ohio State 26 now. Meade and Calcaterra split right. Lamb split left. Flowers tied end to left with Sermon at running back. Mayfield now 138 yards passing. Baker's got it. Going to throw again here. Looking middle, looking right, rolling right. Has time. Now he's going to run it himself. 25 and out of bounds around the 23. They'll give him close to the 22. That'll be a gain of four. It was not a designed run, but Baker got to the corner and picked up four. Toby, Denzel Ward did a really good job of not letting Jeffrey Meade break free. Very physical with Meade, and unfortunately, the Sooner senior unable to break away. Baker had some room, gave him every opportunity, but a really nice job by the only Ohio State playmaker that's returning in their secondary, Denzel Ward, on Jeffrey Meade in that one-on-one. -on -one. Michael Jones in slot left, second and six from the Ohio State 22. Snap, Mayfield, play action, across the middle, crops. Calcaterra drops it at the 10. Might have been a touchdown, although he would have had to evade one Ohio State defender. The freshman immediately put his hands on his helmet. That pass a little bit behind him, but he took his eyes off of it. Third and six. I think those type passes are really awfully good. You see how wide the corners are here. If you can get an inside edge because they creep up on you, you've got a great chance to hit those. Five wides, empty formation. Baker alone back there. Got to get it to the 16 for a first down. Now Sermon will come join him in the backfield. Ohio State showing blitz on the right side. Mayfield's got it. Inside handoff. Sermon looking for the 20, reaching for the 19. That's short. That's three yards short. It'll be fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. This will be the first field goal try of the season for Austin Seibert. 29 for 39 in his career. Last year, 11 of 16. This will be a 37-yard attempt from the middle of the field. To tie it. We're under eight minutes to go first half. The holder is Connor McGinnis. Snap is low, bobbled, kick is in the air, though. Nice job by McGinnis, and he missed it. The snap was low. McGinnis was able to corral it and set it. Seibert got a boot on it and had enough length to it, but he pushed it right. Well, it was a late snap, a tough snap. Holder was reaching for it forever before it got turned loose. It didn't have it. The greatest of chances here. Boy, that's a shame. Boy, it has been a frustrating first half for the Oklahoma offense. They have marched and marched, but they've turned it over twice and missed a field goal. Timeout on the field. 7.44 to go till halftime. Buckeyes three, Sooners nothing. Ohio State has the ball back at their own 20 after a missed Sooner field goal. And another freshman on the field for Oklahoma. It's Robert Barnes. The safety from South Lake Carroll High School in South Lake, Texas. He's playing in Will Johnson's spot. Johnson injured in this game. JT Barrett with J.K. Dobbins next to him in the backfield. Option right. Barrett keeps it, darts it up to the 23, maybe the 24. He's sandwiched down there. Kenneth Murray, Tyree Slot in on the stop. Much better by Kenneth Murray there. Got outside, had good, didn't have a false step, was able to get outside and beat that offensive lineman to the edge. It is second and six. 
three wide receivers set. Barrett goes quickly, rolling left, looking to throw, does, and it's a bad one. He bounced it to Johnny Dixon. There was a suitor, and I think it was Caleb Kelly that was kind of breathing on him a bit. And JT Barrett let it fly low. Barrett so far, three of nine passing. They continue to throw the ball on second down, and it's costing them. They're getting behind the chains. He's he's just still not comfortable back there, and a good job by the Sooners putting the pressure on him. Robert Barnes, of course, the son of former Sooner Reggie Barnes. Third and six from the 24. He sends Dobbins in motion. Back to pass. Barrett, pocket oh, collapses, rolls right. He's got room to run. He'll have the first down. 30, 35, 40, and out of bounds. The pocket collapsed on him, but nobody had to contain. And Barrett runs for 16. Oh, that's a shame because he didn't have any place to go if it just kept containment. And that's Oboe taking an inside move. If you're going to take the inside, you got to win or have one of your other linemen cover you. Empty set. Quick throw out to the right. Dobbins caught. Hit immediately and dropped for a loss. Parnell Motley blew it up. The little screen pass to J.K. Dobbins, who was set up as a wide receiver. It's a loss of one. Guys, Will Johnson, they're going to go ahead and take him back to the locker room. Well, Will Johnson started this game like a house on fire, but he's done, apparently. Jet sweep, Hill to the left side, sandwiched in, still on his feet, cuts it back, and he's down after a gain of only two to the 41. Good pursuit by the white shirts. Caleb Kelly, the tackle. It'll be third and long again, third and nine. Houghton in, Sylvie in. Sooners go with this heavy safety with a dime package look here. JT Barrett, one step toward his center. Billy Price now backs into the gun. They've got to get to midfield for a first down. Barrett's got it. Straight drop. Has time. Under pressure now. Steps up. Hobo's got him and he's down. Okoronkwo a sack. And with under six to go till halftime, the Sooner defense that has been very good tonight has forced another Buckeye punt. That's a coverage sack right there. Really good coverage. They were over and under all the receivers out there down the field. And he had to pull it down, stepped up in the pocket, still no one home, and Oboe got to him. Second Sooner sack tonight. I think they're going to give it one and a half for Oboe. I think he split the first one. Here's the punt. High Good one. Driving punt. Bidette calls fair catch, takes it, drops it, falls back on it. Whoo! That was almost another Sooner turnover. 49-yard punts. And the Sooners will start on their own 13-yard line. Timeout on the field. Last is a missed field goal. All four, all four possessions just been... Kick catch interference. Kicking team. Number 19. Too close to the receiver. Didn't give him an unimpeded opportunity. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, Oklahoma, timeout. Whatever it was the first time, between the time they've received the ball down into deep opposition territory, they've, they've moved the ball pretty doggone well. We just got to get it together and eliminate the little mistakes. Rodney Anderson indeed on the field. Split backs. Trey Sermon out there as well. First and 10 from their own 28. 525 to go till halftime. Baker's got it. He will keep it. Throws it out. Sermon caught it with room to run. 25, 30, makes a cut. 35, puts his shoulder down, and he's out to the 36. It's a gain of eight on the pass by Trey Sermon. And that's a design swing pass. You saw Meade and Calcaterra go in and, and block with leverage on the guys that were guarding him. They were expecting that to come out quickly. Second and two. Sooners go dual backs again. Anderson to the right of Baker. Sermon to the left. Now Anderson in motion. Baker's going to throw it out to Rodney. Caught at the 30. 35 first down. Cuts it up 40. 45 hits sideways and he's down. Move the chains though. A couple of swing passes to the backs. And the Sooners have moved it from the 28 to the 48. First downs brought to you by Blue Line Rental. Fast, safe, reliable construction equipment rentals. Kyler Murray into the game at quarterback. They're going to go look at Baker's right foot again over there. He's got Trey Sermon at running back. Baker appears to be trying to stretch out his calf. Three wideouts from the 48. Murray hands to Sermon. Pitch back to Murray. The option to the 50. Kyler to the 45 and out of bounds. How about that? 
That's a backward option. He handed it to the running back who pitched it back to the running back. See? Or to the quarterback. Yeah, the quarterback's back in now. They had that play cook for speed. That was a nine-yard gain. I've never seen that one before. Kyler handed it to Sermon. Then he sprinted right, and Sermon pitched it back to Murray. I saw that the first time this week in practice. In fact. It'll be second and one. That was some ingenuity right there. Mayfield back in. Maybe with a leg injury, maybe not. Four wides. 3.55 to go, second quarter, 3 nothing Buckeyes. Miles tees in the game, slot left. Six to snap it. Mayfield's got it. He will keep it himself over the right side. He gets away from a man, first mm. down to the 40, and he's down. Almost wish he'd given it to the tailback. There's a hole over here bigger than big. Needed one, got three, move the chains. Well, you got to score here. I mean... Sooners have marched and marched and marched and marched, and they still got a goose egg on the scoreboard. You got to take at least a tie, if not a lead, into the locker room. Marquise Brown in for the first time. Nope, that's not right. C.D. Lamb back in. Sermon moves to the right of Baker. Four wides, first and ten from the 40. Mayfield hands to Sermon, squeezes through a hole, bounces it outside, 35, runs over a Buckeye, and he powers his way to the 31-yard line. A gain of nine. Just walks through a tackle there about the line of scrimmage and makes a guy miss. Really good stuff there. Jordan Fuller, the safety, taking the brunt of that punishing run by Trey Sermon. Well, also that there was this speed move to the outside on him and the running back and got those linebackers moving. That's where the hole really helped out. Second and one, good chance to take a shot here from the 31. Baker gives it off. Sermon, first down, plowing to the 26. Sooners having some success running on this big Ohio State defensive line right now. It's a combination, I think, of the passes they've thrown and the runs. They're, they're per, uh, perimeter people, outside backers, defensive ends, whatever you call. They don't quite know where to line up. That stretches your middle. Five-yard gain. First and ten from the Buckeye 26. 2.21 to go till halftime. So you look at the hole off right tackle if you wanted to give it to him. Sooners have all three timeouts. Buckeye showing blitz. Baker wants to throw under pressure. Hit as he throws for the end zone. It is bobbled and drops. Jeffrey Meade, the intended receiver. Baker took a shot. Denzel Ward in coverage. It'll be second and ten. Rodney Anderson in. Trey Sermon out. And it looked like a clean hit on Mayfield. It looked like the guy hit him right on the shoulder. 2.07 to go. 3 nothing Buckeyes. Meade right. Calcaterra and Lamb left. Flowers tight end left. Sooners got 10 to snap it. Rodney Anderson the back. From the 26, snap. Baker, handoff. Anderson right side, breaks a tackle, breaks another to the 20 and to the 19. Running through trash. He picks up seven. Sooners in the red zone, sponsored by Delta Dental of Oklahoma. Find your smile with Delta Dental of Oklahoma. First third down of this drive. It'll be third and three from just inside the 19. I think they stick with the running game here. If not, I bet it's play action, and I'd look for flowers. 1.38 to go till halftime. Three wides, tight end flowers. Anderson the back. Got to get to the 16 for a first down. Crowd in a frenzy. A hundred plus thousand of them. Going to take a timeout here, Toby. Lincoln's milking the clock down to one second. Here we go. And he takes the timeout with 120 to go. That's the first Sooner timeout of the half. Scotty Kolak, assistant strength and Oklahoma conditioning. Oh. Takes his first timeout of the half. Media timeout. One of Scotty Kolak, uh, one of Schmitty's assistants, Scotty Kolak, actually went out because Lincoln was on the field and pulled him back. Kind of the get back coach. Remember Brent Venables and Rodney Rideau back in the day? And as soon as Coach Riley got back, on the sideline, he looked up and said, let's slow this down and talk about it for a bit. Toby Rowland, Merv Johnson, Chris Plank, Ted Lehman back with you. We're in the Horseshoe, Ohio Stadium, Columbus, Ohio. 1.20 to go till halftime. Buckeyes three, Sooners nothing, but Sooners are in the red zone. They face a third and three at the Buckeye 19. What play do you like here, Coach? Who? Oh. I don't know. I think if you see the defense, you got a soft spot off tackle, you probably ought to hit a slash run. But uh, otherwise, 
I like some kind of a slant by one of the receivers. Smallwood, Cal Katera split left. This uh, inside receiver down here at the bottom on a slant route or maybe even an out route. If that number seven doesn't get out of here, he can run the out route and nobody's over here. I, I wouldn't mind if they just stuck with the run here. They've had a lot of success, but I'm telling you, Dimitri Flowers, if they're going play action, they're going to look for him. Flowers tied in left, Mead wide right. Baker looking at the sidelines. 13 to snap it. Lincoln Riley looking at his play card. And taking his time. He's going to take another time out here. Yes, he is. It? Yep. I don't think he liked the defense he was looking at, so he's going to take back-to-back -back timeouts here. Toby, I, the, the, Baker seemed to be waiting. Lincoln was waiting. Oklahoma takes his second timeout of the half. 60-second timeout. Decided it was better to wait. It's really closer to a third and two. It's about third and two and a half, to be honest with you. The ball sits between the 18 and 19-yard lines. Are we out of timeouts? No, we one more. Have one. The Sooners have one more. Yeah, that's important. Kind of got them on their heels. You'd like to get a touchdown in before you go to the halftime. Boy, this is this is a huge final 100 seconds here because if Oklahoma can score, they've outplayed Ohio State, and they go into the locker room feeling like they're going to win this game. If they don't score, the Buckeyes feel like they've dodged a huge bullet. And they've got the lead at halftime. Third and two and a half. Here we go. Same personnel package. Calcaterra, Lamb in down here instead of Smallwood. Running back is Anderson. Snap, Mayfield, back to pass. Looking left. Has time. Still looking. Backing up. Stepping up. Going to fake. Dives forward. Short of the first down by a yard. It'll be fourth down. About fourth and a yard and a half. They put it between the 17 and 18, and let's see what they're going to do. They may use another timeout here. Lincoln's thinking about it, talking with Jay Bullware right now. They're going to go. Nope, they're going to sit out the field goal unit. Here comes the field goal unit. No, they did not want to kick. 48 seconds to go. Seibert missed one from 37. This one will be from 35. Let's see if they can execute the snap better yeah, here. Yeah, let's don't. Blame him too much. That was an ugly operation by the other two guys. Just inside the right hash. Snap back. It's good. Hold is good. Kick is away, and it is good. A 35-yard field goal for Austin Seibert has tied it with 25 seconds to go in the first half. Toby, let's put a little asterisk next to that one for the rest of this game because we were standing right on the line of scrimmage, and Lincoln Riley tried to call a timeout right before the field goal. I think he was having second thoughts. He wanted about to, go to go for it. For it. There's yeah. no doubt about it. He wanted to go for it. Before they made the decision to send the field goal unit out there, he was studying the chains, trying to see exactly how far away it was. He's trusting his offense right now. Yeah, and again, it was one of those moments to where I – I think if it was any other maybe stadium in any other situation, he might have got that timeout. But I don't think that the line judge, the side judge, excuse me, over here ever heard from him. So an interesting moment there. I'm going to I'm gonna respectfully disagree with oh. you there. I, I think it was more of a play clock issue because they ah. were down to one on the play clock when that snapped. So I think that had more to do with the timeout than wanting to go for it. But we may never know. I guess we can ask him after the game. We'll see. <laughs> three to three, 25 seconds to go till halftime. I do know that your story is not nearly as fun. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that's ours. That's true. Right? Yeah, yours yours is more uh, tabloid worthy. That's for sure. Sooners kick off for the first time tonight. Paris Campbell and K.J. Hill deep. Remember, Ohio State gets the football to start the second half. There's the boot. High end over end driving. It'll be five yards kick. deep to Campbell, and he'll be forced to take a knee. Nice job by... Austin Seibert, that's now six of nine kickoffs this year. He has forced a touchback. And let's see if Kevin Wilson and the Buckeye offense has any desire to force the issue here with 25 seconds to go till halftime. You absolutely had to have points right there. Three to three doesn't feel great, but it feels better than three nothing. And at least you zap a little bit of Ohio State's momentum. Oklahoma has been the better football team so far in the first half. But the turnovers and the missed field goal have bit them. Nine play, 55-yard drive in five minutes exactly for OU. 35-yard field goal by Seibert, captain. 
Here we go. From the 25, it is a handoff to Dobbins over the left side, knocked sideways, squirts through a hole out near the 30. Kenneth Murray, the tackle. It's a four-yard gain, and I think that'll do it. Urban Meyer taking off the headsets. The troops are headed to the bench. And we got some words. The Oklahoma defense with some words for the Ohio State offense and vice versa. And we have a defensive battle and in the are, horseshoe. Toby, there's more than words. This is intense. They're holding back Kenneth Murray right now. We are at halftime. Buckeyes 3, Sooners 3. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by the Riverwind Resort, the place to be. This is Sooner football from Lear. Sooners will kick it off. Paris Campbell and K.J. Hill deep to receive for Ohio State. Sooners kicking left to right. Seibert approaches, toe to leather, high driving kick, another good one. Campbell will take it two yards deep, and he'll bring it out to the 5 to the 10. He veers left, 15, 20, has a hole, 25, near sidelines, 30. Watch out, 40. Seibert's there, and he forces him out of bounds in Sooner territory. Paris Campbell, a big kickoff return, and Ohio State will start in plus territory to start the second half. The Oklahoma Sooner Halftime Show was brought to you by OU College of Professional Studies and Continuous Studies. It's your career. Go get it. PACS.OU.EDU. A 57-yard kickoff return for Paris Campbell, and Ohio State starts on the plus 44-yard line. JT Parrott has J.K. Dobbins to his right, three wide receivers, and the tight end is Marcus Ball. Game tied 3-3, top five showdown in the horseshoe. Barrett takes the football, rolling to his right, looking to throw, lobs right side, caught at the Sooner 38, spinning away briefly, then hit backwards by Kenneth Murray. It's Terry McLaren. Let's see where they spot this. At the 37, that'll be a gain of seven. Second and three. Buckeyes want to go a little quicker here, it looks like. Yeah, I think they've changed their approach. Barrett, handoff, Dobbins, cuts left, first down, room, 30, cuts it up, 25, and he's down there. Caleb Kelly made the stop, first down, Buckeyes down to the 24, a gain of 13 on the ground for J.K. Dobbins. That's what those good coaches do. They come in at halftime and recognize where the... Thing should go. Three wide receivers set with a tight end left in motion. McLaurin snap. It is a handoff. Dobbins looking for a hole. Squirts through one. Nope, not much there, really. Nice play. DJ Ward. Give him two to the 22. Second and eight. Sooners leading tackler in the first half. Obo Okoronkwo. Four tackles and one and a half sacks. Second and eight, quick snap, Barrett, keeper himself up the middle to the 20, chopped down by Emmanuel Beal after a gain of two. It'll bring up third and about five and a half. This is a different scheme than what we saw in the first half. They're on a much faster pace. They kind of know what they want to do, I think. Snap, Barrett rolling right, looking to throw on third down, does, it is caught right at the first down marker, Benjamin Victor. Right at the 14, and that'll be enough. Needed five and a half, got right at five and a half. Buckeyes again, punching the gas, going quickly. They send Dobbins in motion, Barrett back to pass. Looking left, looking right, directing traffic, has all day. Now under pressure, he'll run it himself to the 10, to the six-yard line. Eight yards. Barrett looked and looked and looked. Finally ran it, and the Sooner is hurt, and that's Oboe. And that's oh no. Yeah, he was he was struggling, guys. Originally, he started to rush the passer. Then as he backed off into coverage because of the player for Ohio State, I believe it was uh, Victor that had flared out, uh, he went down. So tough break here for Oboe. Could be a cramp, though. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. He is laying on his back. I doubt if it's a cramp. They hadn't been out here but a minute. He's got his right hand on his helmet in there. I can't tell if they're looking at his... Now he sits up. It doesn't look like they're looking at a leg or anything. It'll be a second and two from the six. Ohio State got a big kickoff return, and they've gone quickly. 
from the 44 to the 6. And I say quickly, I mean they have snapped the ball quickly. Well, our defensive front hadn't, hadn't been like it was the first half. They were soft, dropped people off. He held the ball for a week on that last completion. First half, they were in his face right now. Oboe's off the field. Mark Jackson will replace him. And let's see if the Sooners can bow up here and force a field goal try again. Second and two from the six. Dobbins lines up directly behind Barrett. A tight pistol. Let's see if he splits off out of this. And he does to the left. Snap. Barrett. Hand off. Dobbins. Touchdown. Right up the middle. Six-yard touchdown run. J.K. Dobbins. It's the first touchdown for either team tonight. And it's 9-3 to three Buckeyes. Positive spin, Toby. Oboe walking around on the sidelines. Looks like he's going to be okay. 12.37 to go third quarter. Buckeyes, as Coach Merv mentioned at halftime, had a big second half a week ago against Indiana. And they, they started pressingly here. Really set them on fire, I think. Extra point is good. Ohio State 10, Oklahoma 3. 12.37 to go third quarter. Chris, Teddy? Let's keep an eye on what the running back rotation will look like because we haven't seen Abdul Adams in the backfield for the Sooners since the fumble that ended up leading uh, to the to the Ohio State score. I believe either his fumble or uh, Bidette's fumble. But bottom line is we haven't seen Abdul Adams back in this game since that fumble. Let's see if the Sooners can answer with a kickoff return here. It's Bidette and Jones deep. Blake Hobble is their kickoff guy. All their kickers wear numbers in the 90s. Hobble wears number 95. Long ways to go in this one, but the Sooners need an answer here. Buckeyes sway back and forth. There's the kick. Short, high, very short. Up after it, Bedette at the 11. Up the middle, 15, 20, bounces outside, 25, stiff arm to the 30, and he's hit down at the 33. Mm, he he almost got out almost of there. Almost, yeah. Sooners will start at the 33. It happens to everyone who plays the game. We get hurt, try to walk it off, but playing hurt can make it worse. Schedule a free pain assessment with Mercy Sports Medicine at mercy.net slash play healthy. At Mercy Sports Medicine, your life is our life's work. Toby, let's keep an eye, too, on Ben Powers. We saw a lot of Cody Ford in the first half, and Ben Powers back out there at left guard for the Sooners to start the second half. Running back is Sermon. Wide outs are Michael Jones, C.D. Lamb, Grant Cal, Katera, and Jeffrey Mead. First and 10 from their own 33. Sooners down a touchdown. Baker's got it. Hands to Sermon. Up the middle, 35, 36, churning, 37, and knocked backwards. A gain of four. Sooners using a lot of true freshmen tonight. Trey Sermon, Grant Calcaterra, C.D. Lamb, of course, Robert Barnes in the game, of course, Kenneth Murray. We've seen Tyrese Lott on the defensive line tonight. Second down and six. Trips to the left. Mead the lone wide out to the near side. Sooners going left to right here in quarter three. Mayfield wants to throw, does. Caught at the 42 by Michael Jones. He dives forward for a first down. That's the first catch of the season for Michael Jones. Give him to the 43. Needed six, got six, move the chains. Quick strike there. Trips right this time. That's the wide side of the field. Snap to Mayfield. Play action. Looks middle, throws middle. Calcaterra catching traffic in Buckeye territory. There's one of the freshmen all the way down to the 36-yard line. And it's a great play design. The guard pulls out to the right, and it's a play action. It pulls that linebacker out wide, and they hit it right behind the hole that he, uh, he leaves in the middle of the field. 21-yard pickup. Andrews out of this game with an apparent injury. Calcaterra in. Nice catch there. He had a drop in the first half, but that was a tough one. First and 10 from the Buckeye, 36. Four wide, Sermon the back. Snap, Mayfield wants to throw. Quick throw right side, batted down. Batted down at the line of scrimmage by Draymond Jones. They're pretty good at that. I noticed that last week on those quick slants. The ball doesn't get a lot of height. 
And if those guys are kind of anticipating that you're going to throw that, it doesn't take much to get your hands up near. Well, Dimitri Flowers in. He'll join Trey Sermon in the backfield here on second and 10. 10.59 to go third quarter. Ohio State 10, Oklahoma 3. Eric Wren holding the football, now snaps it. Mayfield going to throw, has a wide open. Dimitri Flowers, 25 to the 20, 15, cuts near side, to the 10, to the 5, and he's into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Baker Mayfield to Dimitri Flowers. Oh, that smelled sweet. 36 yards, and the Sooners are down 10 to 9 in Ohio Stadium. Made just a little fake, and those linebackers stepped up a couple of steps, and there was room in behind for Flowers. Great, great play. Looks like the Kansas State stuff that they got us with a couple years ago. There's some really hard play action. The backers are stepping up, and they're absolutely losing Flowers. Seibert on for the extra point. Snap good, hold good, kick is away, and it is good, and we are tied. 10.50 to go, third quarter. It's Buckeyes 10 and Sooners 10. Here come the offenses in the horseshoe. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by the Riverwind Resort, the place to be. This is Sooner football from Learfield. Your secondary that's in coverage or the backers that are in coverage, you got to make the play there. But definitely what the defense needs is to know that their offense has their back when they go down and score a touchdown. Really nice. And Toby talked earlier about the true freshmen seeing CeeDee Lamb make plays early, counting on guys like Robert Barnes, seeing Grant Calcaterra with a big catch. But, Coach, it's one of the old guard guys, Dimitri Flowers, who leads the Sooners right now with 85 yards on four catches and that huge touchdown. Impressive how Lincoln Riley uses him, isn't it? It really is. The guy is... Uh... For most people, they don't realize what a talented athlete he is. If you saw him against Iowa State last year and other times, uh, and make every block, you uh, you do, you appreciate it and agree. We got to stop this kickoff return stuff. Though. That's ridiculous. Triple A drive summary: five plays, 67 yards in a minute 40. Baker three of four passing on that drive. He's now 14 of 22 for 221 yards tonight. Here's the kickoff. Cyber. Driving kick, good one. Paris Campbell pushed back, and that sails over his head. That'll stop a kickoff return. As much as anything else. It's a touchback. First person to greet Austin Seibert when he comes off the field, the quarterback, Baker Mayfield. They realize, I think, Captain Obvious statement of the night, maybe, guys, how huge that kick return was in setting the tone for Ohio State on that last drive. Good news, Wing Night in America is back at Sonic. Better news, it's back with six bold flavors. Now buy one, get one free every Thursday from 5 p.m. to close. And Toby, we forgot to award the chicken drive. And it's a winner, right? Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Chris. First drive of the third quarter, Oklahoma goes out and scores a touchdown. So we'll get all the details, but congratulations to the winner of this week's Chicken Drive Canes Challenge, Lee Roy McDonald. All the details after this first play by Ohio State. And we need the deets. 10.50 to go third quarter, 10-10 our score. JT Barrett at quarterback. Oboe's back out there. J.K. Dobbins at running back. They will hand it to Dobbins, sweeping right, trying to get to the corner. Cuts it up 30, chopped down across the 30. He got seven, maybe eight. Leroy's won free chicken for a year as the Sooners scored a touchdown, and it's all courtesy of this week's Canes Challenge. So awesome. Congratulations to Leroy McDonald. Second and two, eight-yard run. J.K. Dobbins trips left. Tight end right. Snap to Barrett. Hand off Dobbins. First down. Cuts right. Watch out. 40. And he is tackled by his shoestrings where he might have gone. Neville Gallimore grabbed him to the 46. That's a 13-yard run. And the Sooners are struggling with the Ohio State run game here in the second half. They're about to start feeding Dobbins. And he is quick in the hole. Look at that move he puts on. First and 10 from the 46. Same formation. Trips left. Snap. Handoff Dobbins again, has a hole again into Sooner territory, 45-40. Parnell Motley finally got him down at the 38. Ted, what's the difference right now? They're just feeding it. They've been throwing the ball on second down in the first half, and like Coach talked about earlier, this is kind of the same thing that you saw last week against Indiana. They came out and really put their foot on the gas in the second half in the run game. First and 10 at the Sooner 38. Three straight Dobbins runs. Play action this time. Barrett wants to throw. Has time. Looks deep. Left side. Caught. Is he inbounds? Ball comes out incomplete. Austin Mack, a diving catch, fell on his back. 
He's not up yet. The ball popped out. Robert Barnes in coverage, and Mack still trying to get to his feet. Might have had the breath knocked out of him there. That was a hard fall. Second and ten. No, that may be an on-purpose type uh, way of approaching their offense, is to come back the second half and do what you haven't seen and know that you're going to do it extremely well, and they've got you in a mood where you're watching wide in the passing game. It may be more than just luck. We're going to look at this again. Uh, I, don't, I don't think, one, I don't, I'm not sure he came down in bounds. Let's see. Yeah, he, he, and the two, he, the ball popped out. His butt hits in bounds, but the ball is loose. I don't know. Verdict, guys, you're watching it on the big screen with me. I, to me, you always got to control it to and through the ground. If you ever lose it, it's incomplete. Yeah, especially, especially uh, going out of bounds. They're, they're much more strict there, I think, than they are upfield. To the shock of nobody, the home crowd thinks that it should be a catch. Uh, but again, Toby, let's remember it has to be irrefutable evidence as well, too. So good angles on this, but I, I just don't know if there's enough there to overturn this. And it's a really good job by Barnes to not give up on the play. I mean, they're five yards out of bounds, and he's still tussling with the football, and ultimately that's what jarred it loose. We're under an official review brought to you by Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law, the law firm you should turn to for all your personal injury needs. This is a big call because if it is a catch, it's first and goal. That was inside the 10-yard line. Fantastic effort by Mac. Fantastic effort by Barnes, as Teddy pointed out. And I'd like to see Barnes get back in there and make a good play after he got shook by Dobbins in the hole the play before. Our referee tonight, Mike DeFee, on the headset down below. He's definitely in bounds whenever it starts. I just don't know if they're going to say he has control before it gets jarred loose late. That's the question. His backside hit in bounds. But then the ball, when he hit the ground, eventually comes loose. Let's see what we've got here. Here's the ruling. After reviewing the play, the receiver did maintain possession of the ball through contact with the ground. The ball came out, well out of bounds. It's first and goal at the seven-yard line. Hmm. Well, that'll be a controversial call. So give him 31 yards on the connection. And first and goal, Buckeyes at the seven. Hmm. Mike Weber in at running back. We're tied at 10, 947 to go third quarter. First half dominated by the defenses. All of a sudden, neither defense can get a stop. Yeah, well, see the dive plays there. Just get to hand it off. Barrett's got it. Option right. Keeps it, keeps it. Turns it up to the six. Good defense. That's it. That's all he'll get. One. That's Overton, a really good job there by Caleb Kelly on the edge. JT Barrett presses the corner with him on the speed option, and he does what you call a feather technique. He's the quarterback player, but he gives some ground to buy time for the rest of the defense to get over the top, and he plays essentially both the pitch player and the quarterback there. Right, nice job. Right tackle Isaiah Prince with some shoving after the play, but no flag down. They put it at the five, second and goal from there. Out of the shotgun. Barrett, man in motion right to left, Weber, fake handoff, Barrett keeps it up the middle, nowhere to go. It'll be a one-yard loss. Emmanuel Beal, one of four white shirts there to greet him, and it's third and goal from the six, and here comes a big play. And a great job. Q Overton really causes that play with big-time penetration in the backfield. Really messed up the entire thing. And Mac has not checked back into the game yet, Toby, after he was broke, uh, injured on the, on the play that was reviewed. Paris Campbell checks in. They're going empty set here. Two receivers right, three left. Third and goal from the six. Watch quarterback throw. Sooner showing blitz. They won't run it now. Barrett wants the football. They give it to him. Back to pass. Looking in zone. Looking, looking. Throws. End zone. Incomplete. Off the fingertips of K.J. Hill. He was open. But Barrett missed him. And the Buckeyes, I would assume, will try a field goal indeed. To the displeasure of Urban Meyer, yeah. who chunks his headset after the pass goes incomplete. A nice job for the second time tonight by the Sooner defense. Ohio State had first and goal, and they hold him to a field goal for the second time tonight. 
Nurnberger on for another short one. This will be a 24-yard attempt, tough angle. He's at the right hash. He's going to have to hook it here. Snap back, hold down, kick away, and it is good. And Ohio State volleys back on top with 8-10 to go third quarter. This one has gotten wild. Buckeyes 13, Sooners 10. Down the field. Obviously, if we're good enough to uh, get a little bit better kickoff return, uh, the last one is pretty good. We need another pretty good one to get us up here where we can do a few more things, and you can if you're back down deep. But uh, I think defensively, uh, the first possession there in the third quarter, the defense kind of got soft and started kind of creating places to run, you know, with the dive plays and things of that nature. And then they, down here inside the seven-yard line, they bowed back up again. Let's keep them going that way. Buckeyes kickoff guy, Blake Hobble, has not put one in the end zone yet. Sooners have been close, but that has been close the last couple of times. Let's see what he's got here. It's been a design sky kick, but you're right, Toby. It feels like Bidette's going to break one at any moment. Short again. Bidette up, takes it at the 10, right side of the field. 15, back right, 20, outside, 22, and out there. Chris Plank. Toby, we've been keeping an eye, obviously, on the injury story on the sideline. Mark Andrews out, Will Johnson likely out the rest of the day. Will Johnson is back on the sidelines. No helmet has been wearing a mouthpiece. Here's another developing situation, I guess you could say. The temperature has dropped substantially down here on the sideline. So a, a little bit of a cramping issue. It was curious to watch as Tim Kish was coaching up Kenneth Murray. He was having his calves stretched out to kind of offset that. A little extra oxygen as well, too, for DJ Ward and a passionate speech from Ruff McNeil to his interior lineman to make sure that Neville Gallimore understands his responsibility on the next series for Ohio State. Wind has picked up. It's at the back of the Sooners right now. It's coming out of the north. It'll be into their face in quarter number four. Power pistol formation. Rodney Anderson at running back. Now he moves to the left of Baker. He's got flowers to his right. Three wide receivers. Lamb, Calcaterra, and I believe Smallwood on the far side. It is. Snap. Baker, inside handoff, Anderson, not much, and a flag flies. That's in the area of holding here. That came from our referee, DeFee, in the backfield. If it's on OU, it's only their second penalty of the night, but it'll put them behind the chains here. Personal foul, chop block, number 72, number 36. Half the distance to the goal, replay first down. Hmm. Boy, that's a killer. That's going to move it back to the 11, and we'll make it first and 21. 8.01 to go. Split backs again. Anderson and Flowers. Baker's got it. Play action. Under pressure, backing up. Got to get rid of it. And he can't. He's sacked all the way back at the one-yard line. Oh, boy. This drive is a disaster. They're going to spot it at the two, but that's a nine-yard loss. Now it's going to be second and forever. Second and 30. And now you got to worry about the safety. Four wides from the two. Crowd has come alive down here on field level, Toby. Showing blitz. Baker says, hang on a second. Now he wants to change something. Hard to do right now with this crowd. He's got five to snap it. Backs into the gun with three, with two. There's the snap. Back to pass in the end zone. Steps up, throws, caught at the 10 and down there. They at least got out of the end zone. Now we got some shoving after the play. That's a gain of eight. Lando Brown's got to be careful here. They've let him play all night tonight, but can't get another personal foul or get a personal foul in this situation, Toby. Third and 22 from the 10. At least that gives them a little breathing room here. Ohio State's in what you call a chains defense. The linebackers all the way back at the chains. They're going to make them throw underneath and rally up and tackle. At least that's the plan right now. Miles tees in slot right. Jeff Bedette far right. Here comes Lee Morris as well. Jordan Smallwood to the far side. Third and 22. Bidette in motion. Baker's got it. Rolling right. Looking, looking. Throws. Caught Bidette. 20, 25. Out of bounds at the 26. That's a 16-yard pickup, but it's still six yards shy of the first down. And 
For the first time tonight, the Sooners are going to be forced to punt. That's right. First punt tonight for OU. With 6.04 to go third quarter. Nice job at least fighting their way off the goal line there. K.J. Hill standing on his own 35 for Ohio State. 13-10, Buckeyes on top. Snap back, Seibert goes low, picks it up, rushes on, gets the kick away, wobbly and short. Hill takes it at the 40, evades one man, running far side, spins back, retreats. They've got him hemmed in, gets away, goes far right side, and he's out of bounds around the 40. Well, that was a lot of running for not much. 34-yard punt. And Ohio State takes over with the lead, 13-10. The Sooner Network salutes KDDQ FM, KISS 105.3, and Duncan, your radio home for the Classic Rockets and Oklahoma Sooner Athletics. A big thanks to the staff at KDDQ KISS 105.3 that serves Stevens County and is a longstanding partner of the Sooner Network. The Sooner defense has not gotten a stop yet here in the second half, but they need one right here. Sooner's on the short side of a 13-10 score. Buckeyes from the 40. Dobbins back in at running back. JT Barrett and three wide receivers. Snap. Barrett. Hand off. Dobbins hit at the line of scrimmage. Obo drops him. No gain. Obo came crashing in from the left end. It'll be second and 10. We still haven't seen the option pass where they push the edge with what looks like a speed option and then Barrett will drop back and they'll hit one of the guys streaking across the middle of the field. I imagine that's going to be coming here sometime in the second half. Johnny Dixon, Benjamin Victor, Terry McClure in the wideout. Second and ten. Barrett's got it. He will keep it. No handoff. And again, they drop no gain. J.K. Dobbins. This time, D.J. Ward hopped on his back. That was J.T. handing to J.K. with D.J. making the tackle. It'll be third down and beyond 10, about 10 and a half. And it was a great job by DJ Ward. I mean, he showed some real athleticism there. He played the quarterback and then rallied out to make the tackle there. And Bolton is in on this rush package. Watch a move between him and if he goes over to Oboe's side, they're really good at working together here. Third and 10, boy, a stop here would be big. 4.37 to go in the third. Out of the shotgun. Barrett back to pass. Twist up front. Has time. Now under pressure. Bolton's in on him. Spins out of it. Barrett looking. Waving. Now he's going to try to run it. And he is knocked out of bounds at the 45. And a flag is down in the backfield. Let's hope that's a hold. Barrett's still five yards shy of the first down. It is indeed a hold. And it'll be fourth and five if the Sooners decline. What would you do here, Toby? I decline. It's fourth and five. Holding. Offense. Number 76. Penalties decline. Fourth down. Sooners get a three and out. Exactly what they needed. First stop they've made in the second half. Buzzy Bolton was almost in on the sack. Barrett, to his credit, got away and got five yards on the play. We could use a nice return here by Bidette. He's been close a couple of times. On the punt return game, they've been a, done a really good job at pinning us deep. We need to get out here and kind of flip the field position here. Chrisman, the punter. 408 to go third quarter. Snap is back. There's the kick. Wobbly, driving. Bidette comes up, lets it sail over his head. It bounces sideways at the five. Back up field to the seven, but the Sooners are going to be buried deep here. Chrisman's been good for them tonight. 47-yard kick. Chris Plank, Teddy Lehman, what you got down there? Well, the one thing that we've been keeping an eye on is just the continual coaching up that the uh, defensive coaches have done down here. Uh, the coaches on the field, Kerry Cooks, Tim, uh, Tim Kish, Ruffin McNeil, Calvin Thibodeau, Teddy, they've been just continually working on ways to make sure Oklahoma can adjust to this tempo that Ohio State has gone with. And uh, obviously that rush package with Buzzy Bolton out there and the job that they've done getting pressure on JT Barrett, these adjustments, I guess my point is a long way in saying the adjustments have worked. The key is whenever we're good on first down against the run, they don't have any answers because JT Barrett is just not good throwing on second or third down. That's been the key. When we can stop him on first down defensively, we got a good shot. Barrett, 8 of 15 passing for 69 yards through the air tonight. Let's see if Baker can answer. 
Four wides, the back is Anderson. From the eight, snap, Mayfield. Hands to Anderson, bounces it outside to the 10, has room, flag flies. He gets to the 13. A flag came from the defensive side of the ball here, but it was in the middle of the field, and it's going to be a defensive holding, they say. The umpire signals to the referee, holding on the defense. That's interesting on a run play. It is. Holding defense, number 93. A 10-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. All right, we'll take it. This first down brought to you by Blue Line Rental. Fast, safe, reliable construction equipment sales. What happens there, Toby, when they call down on a defensive lineman, he's usually getting double teamed and he's holding the guard so he can't get up to the to the next level and block a backer. That puts it at the 23, first and 10, 338 to go third quarter. It's 13-10 Buckeyes. Snap to Baker. Play action, wants to throw under pressure, steps up, gets out, floats left, throws late, caught. 37-yard line to the 40 CD Lamb. There he is again, Baker Mayfield. Escaping out the left hatch. Give him 17. Great job by both of them. C.D. Lamb with his fourth catch tonight. Sooners have taken it from their own eight to the 40 now. Michael Jones, Lee Morrison, trips right. Anderson still the back. Bidette also in the game. And Lamb. Baker sends Bidette in motion. Mayfield's got it. Play action. Rolling right. Gets outside. Heaves it deep. It is caught by Kill Jones. 25-20. And he's out of bounds in the red zone. What a throw. What a catch. <laughs> They'll spot the ball at the 18-yard line. 42-yard hookup. Mayfield to Michael Jones, and the Sooners are in the red zone, the Delta Dental red zone. Find your smile with Delta Dental of Oklahoma. 2.38 to go third quarter. What a throw. Baker Mayfield now over 300 yards passing tonight. Trips left. Padet to the right. Anderson the back. First and 10. Snap. Mayfield. Play action. Looking left. Throwing in zone. It is caught. Touchdown! Oh, mama! Lee Morris. Great throw. And the Sooners are on top in the horseshoe. Toby, that's your All-State good hands catch of the game. My goodness, what a play on back-to-back -back dimes by Baker Mayfield by Lee Morris and Michael Jones. Two pretty good throws, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Coach. Lee Morris has two catches in his Sooner career, and they're both for touchdowns. Last week, a 43-yarder from Kyler Murray, and this week, an 18-yarder to take the lead on Ohio State. Extra point is good. 2.17 to go in quarter three. It's now Sooner 17 and Buckeyes 13. Coach? That was something. This drive started on the eight-yard line. They yeah. went 92 yards, lickety-split. Had a little penalty there that helped them on the first play, and uh, they were off and running. I tell you, too, that's, that's as good a quarterback ad lib on those throws as you'll ever see. <laughs> Scrambling around, dodging, spinning, getting away from people, and then just drill somebody that's open. Chris Plank, and what's it like down there? Oh, Ted, uh, or Toby. Teddy can attest to it. It's, again, every time the offense makes a play, it's a whole new energy down here on the sideline. And I'll say this much. We've been keeping our eye on Lincoln Riley, how he reacts to things. As soon as Lee Morris crossed the end zone, what's become the signature Lincoln Riley fist pump, and he turned around and started waving to the crowd to get them up. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it was a fairly loud chant of, oh, you, Ted, after the touchdown. Yeah, and that's, I mean, Baker Mayfield, it, when they blitz, and Ohio State's done quite a bit of it, and they've timed it up well on some. If they don't, if they don't get him, and he spins out, it's game over. He's going to find someone down the field. They had him dead to rights there on the play before the touchdown, and he was able to spin out and create something. He's special tonight. AAA Insurance Drive Summary. That was a four-play, 92-yard drive in a buck 40. Here's the kickoff by Cybert. Oh, it's a good one. That adrenaline's flowing for Cybert as he drives it through the end zone, out the back of the end zone. 
Toby, when the defense takes the field, they'll do so without Robert Barnes. Ice on his left hamstring. Come it, Chris. I told you to knock it off down there. Which means we are now three deep at that safety position next to Stephen Parker. All right. We'll see who we got on the field here. Who's it it's Khalil there? Houghton with Stephen Parker. And you got Jordan Thomas, of course, and Parnell Motley. And the rest of the starters out there. The real question is what's going to happen when they go to nickel? And if, if Ohio State starts yeah. to spread it out a little bit, that's whenever the, they're going to really show that thinness of safety. It's going to have to be Chance Sylvie, I think. All right, Buckeyes from the 25, trailing for the first time tonight, 17-13. Dobbins the back, lined up directly behind JT Barrett. Then he'll move to one side or another if they continue what they've done. Now he does move to the left. Three wide outs, tight end right. Barrett's got it. Play action, back to pass. Looking right, throwing right, deep shot. Broken up by Khalil Houghton. I'm telling you what, fellas, right now, every time JT Barrett drops back to pass, I say thank you. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And he's got a guy here. The throw is just late. He doesn't get it out there in time, and it's able to give the safety time to close in on it. Perfectly timed pass breakup by Khalil Houghton, second and ten. Marcus Ball in a tight end now. Trips left. Barrett says something to Dobbins, moves him to his right. It's 2.11 to go, third quarter. It is a keeper. Barrett up the middle, has a hold to the 30, dives forward to the 31 and a half. It's a run of six. Zone read, keeper, JT Barrett, third down and four upcoming. Boy, how nice would it be to get the football back here with a lead. Four wide receivers set. Barrett's got it. It's going to throw. Looks left. Throws left. Caught. First down at the 40-yard line. Benjamin Victor gets it to the 45. He sat down. It looked like a, in a hole in the zone. And that was a good throw by Barrett that time. Zipped it in there. A gain of 13. And that's by Kenneth Murray. Just shows the inexperience there. Whenever the quarterback looks to his way, he's got to break a little bit quicker on the football. 133 to go third quarter. In motion, McLaurin. Goes behind the formation to the right. Blitz. Parrott's going to run left side. Oh, he's got room. Midfield, 45, Sooner Territory, and out of bounds. Nobody was home on this side of the field, and Barrett realized it. And he takes it to the OU 42. 14 That's yards. Not a called run there. He just drops back the pass and sees the edge of the defense is completely collapsed. And just pulls it down and runs it. 17 13 Sooners, 112 to go, third quarter. Trips right, tight end left. Barrett says, hang on. Walks up to his center. Barks out offensive line instructions. He's got 10 on the play clock. Dobbins now moves to his right. Snap. Barrett rolling right. Wants to throw. Looking, looking, looking. Throws late and caught but out of bounds. Incomplete. Benjamin Victor. And there's Barrett again. Victor's open the entire time he's running across the field. And it takes Barrett way too long to ID it and get the throw off. And by the time he gets there and leads him, he's out of bounds. So, again, JT Barrett's having some serious trouble in the passing game. Second and 10. From the Sooner 42-yard line. Mm -hmm. They got us off the end in the middle. Snap. It is a handoff. Dobbins outside breaks one tackle, but he'll be swallowed up after a gain of only three to the Sooner 39. Stephen Parker brought him down. Third and seven. Here comes Chance Sylvie as you projected, Toby. 32 seconds to go. They're going to have to snap the ball again here in the third quarter. Four wideouts. They got to get it to the Sooner 32 for a first down. Dobinson in motion. Barrett back to pass. Looking left. Throws across the middle. It is caught at the 35. Sprinting to the sidelines. Hill's not going to get there. He's forced out of bounds. Back at the 36. He gave up a couple of yards. Trying to get to the corner. It'll be fourth down. And this might be go for it range here. It's fourth and four. It would be a 54-yard field goal from here. And Urban Meyer's going to have the quarter break to think about it. Oh, boy. We got a good one. Ohio Stadium. Somebody make sure Uve's warmed up. Sooner 17, Ohio State 13. Four fingers in the air. Far side, they got two receivers and we got one guy.
pistol formation. Weber the back, four wideouts. Ohio State has to get it to the 32-yard line he's, for a first down. He's telling him I might need some help out here, right? Fourth quarter begins with a fourth down try by the Buckeyes. Weber moves to the right of Barrett. Snap. Barrett rolling right. Wants to throw. Looking, looking. Under Good. pressure. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete! <laughs> the Buckeyes have turned it over on downs. It was intended for K.J. Hill. Kenneth Murray with the hit. And the Sooners get the football back, leading by four in the shoe. Right before the play, Toby, Kenneth Murray went up and made sure Neville Gallimore was lined up correctly and kind of gave a fiery pat of the helmet to him. He's becoming an emotional leader. He's growing tonight. Well, the Sooners with a chance here. A chance to grab this game by the neck right here. They take over at the 36-yard line. I think you got to go with what you think you can make the most success with. There's a whole full quarter left, and being too conservative uh, will wind you up in the middle of the field, and that'll have the ball. Cal Katera, C.D. Lamb, two freshmen split to the left. To the right, Jeffrey B. Tight end, Dimitri Flowers. The back is Trey Sermon, another freshman. Wow. Handoff Sermon over the right side, not much. Hit at the line of scrimmage and stood up. It's Baker and the Baby Boomers out there on offense right now. Second and ten. Sermon needed one more bounce on that. He had room to the outside but couldn't quite get there. Jerome Baker on the tackle. 14-31 to go. 17-13 Oklahoma. Three wides. Flowers now splits out slot left. Baker's got it. Straight drop, four-man rush. Has a pocket, throws, crossing pattern, caught by Bidet. Gets to the corner, 40, 45, out of bounds at the 48-yard line. It's the first down. Boy, he can he can move, I'm telling you what. Jeff Bidet, a gain of 12. Bidet, Count Katera. Go to the far side of the field, Oklahoma, going the opposite way they were here in 1977 in the fourth quarter. They are headed north. C.D. Lamb to the near side. Flowers tied in to left. Pistol. Snap. Mayfield. Play action. Rolling right. Sets up. He looking deep. He's got he lets one. C.D. fly deep. He has to come back for the football, and it's going to be pass interference. Fly it over him. It sure did. Baker underthrew it. CD waited for it, and two Buckeyes ran over him. And flags fly. Boy, he had him too. CD was three steps behind the defense. Defense number three, fifteen-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. And the penalty though will move it into Buckeye territory. CD's got wheels. I'm telling you. Now that throw right there might tell you a little bit about what the wind's doing on the field. We've been debating, guys. It almost feels on the field like it's different than what the flags are showing. The huge flagpole in north end zone is basically limp well, right turn now. Turn around and look up at the top yeah, of the stadium. Exactly. It's hard to figure out. First down at the Buckeye 37. Bidette in motion. They pitch it to him. Jet sweep. He gets away from one man. Darts through 35 and he's up to the 34. Mm. That was almost a loss. But the Bidette stepped out of a tackle and he got it up the field three yards, second and seven. 13 20 to play, 17 13 visiting team. How about this personnel package Oklahoma's going with in the fourth quarter in Columbus? Three true freshman skill position guys out there right now. Baker in the shotgun, takes the football. Hands off. Sermon gets through the line of scrimmage to the 30, and he sat on there, but he got four. Somebody's helmet popped off. That was Draymond Jones. He's going to have to come out. Third and three upcoming. The ball's on the 30, so we're in long field goal range here. Keep that in mind. 
Miles Tease into the game with Jeffrey Mead and C.D. Lamb. Sermon at running back. Tight end is Calcaterra, right side of the line. Third down and three. Baker's got it. Looks left, throws quickly, caught C.D. Lamb first down to the 23 and spun backwards. And he bobbled it too. Needed three, got seven. The march continues. 17-13 Sooners. 12-18 to go. And you see Baker Mayfield catch the snap, turn, and fire the slant route just with precision. I mean, it's it's not even comparison in our passing game to Ohio State. He's right 22 now. of 30 tonight, Ted, for 344 yards and two touchdowns. He's making a statement here tonight in a primetime stage. Snap. It's a direct snap to Sermon. Up the middle he goes. 20. Outside to the 15. Stiff arm. You sit down. Sermon breaks a tackle to the 10. He's still churning, and they finally get number four down. It's going to be first and goal. Boy, it seems like the young freshman from week one to week two, the more carries he gets, the more confidence he gets. First down's brought to you by Blue Line Rental. Fast, safe, reliable construction equipment rentals. First and goal from the 10. That was a man-sized run right there by the freshman from Marietta, Georgia. Sooners are in the Delta Dental red zone trying to take a two-score lead on the number two ranked team in the country. His third receiver inside can run just as straight up and look inside and be wide open. That's Cal Katera. Out of the shotgun, Baker with three to snap. It takes the football. Looks right, head and shoulder fake. He's going to run it himself. No, he throws late. Caught Sermon. <laughs> reaching. He's into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Baker Mayfield looked like he was going to run. And at the last second, he let it fly. When you quarterback looks like he's going to run it takes the pressure away from some of those receivers those guys got to start up to help out and you never know quite when to do it trey sermon a 10-yard touchdown reception with 11 11 to go austin cybert on extra point try snap good hold good kick away it is good <laughs> oklahoma 24 ohio state 13 Eyeball emojis. Timeout on the field. Sidelines talking into his headset. Emotional, as you might imagine, after the touchdown, but immediately working with his defensive coaches. And Kerry Cook's down here on the sidelines to make sure this D is ready to try to continue to shut down the Ohio State offense. Get into something good with a quarter pound bacon cheeseburger and a real ice cream shake at your neighborhood Brahms. Triple A scoring drive, seven plays, 64 yards, three minutes, 43 seconds. Baker Mayfield, 23 of 31 tonight, 354 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. That's pretty good. But a long ways to go. 24-13, the kickoff by Seibert. Driving. It's pretty good. Another one. good one. We think into the wind. It's hard to tell. That one's nine yards deep and unreturnable. Since the... 57-yard return to start the second half by Paris Campbell. That is now three consecutive touchbacks on kickoffs by Seibert. And let's see, Ted, here if Kevin Wilson has to put the game a little more on the arm of JT Barrett or if it's too early for that here. Three wide. I think he'll do it a little bit more unless he breaks a run or two for excellent yardage. Dobbins the back from the 25. Barrett's got it. Wants to throw. Four-man rush. Pressure up the middle. Throws late. And oh, it is it. intercepted. It's intercepted. Parnell Motley picked it off. D.C. Island. He darted in front of a Buckeye receiver around the 27-yard line and made a diving grab. It's the first interception of the year for Oklahoma. And the Sooners have the Buckeyes on the ropes now. And Toby, Teddy, coach, it started with pressure from who? Kenneth Murray. He came darting up the middle, Ted, and forced the throw. It just looks like quarters. It's zone coverage. He IDs the little hook route and drives on it perfectly. 
I mean, that's how you do it. You gotta, you gotta have the instincts there to break on the pass before the quarterback lets it go. And he was already in his full drive before JT Barrett let the ball go. So what happens whenever you stare down your wide receivers? The secondary can break on it. That's exactly what happened there. We are reviewing this to make sure Parnell Motley caught it. It's an official review brought to you by McIntyre Law. When we talk about the differences between this Oklahoma team and last year's, and that guy is one of the biggest right there. We haven't said his name a ton tonight, but what a play in the fourth quarter. On the road, he may have just made. Here's a look at the replay in the booth. I don't see any reason there to believe it's not an interception. It looks like he caught it, was able to get his body under it. Here's a different angle. Yeah, and the ball wiggles a little bit. It never Ooh, touched the Hang line. on, Parnell. Oh, so I, think he, yeah, I think he did. Wow. <laughs> what a, here's a third angle at it. It snuck through his hands momentarily, and then right before it hit the ground, it looked like he corralled it again. He never had his... After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Interception, first down. And Ohio State's defense, they've got some real concerns now. Not only the turnover offensively, but they're deep in their own territory right now when they haven't had much of an answer for Baker Mayfield. 24-13 OU, 11.06 to go. Baker takes the field with Sermon and Anderson, so two backs. The receivers are C.D. Lamb, Jeffrey Meade, and Lee Morris. From the Buckeye 27. Snap, Mayfield, play action, throws, Sermon, caught 30, cuts it up, 25, and down at the 22. It's a gain of five. Good job by Lee Morris out on the perimeter with the block on the defensive back there. Kept backing him up, giving Sermon more and more time as he swung out. Chris Worley, the tackle. Dimitri Flowers in. Sermon out. Jeff Bedette checks in. Jeffrey Meade out. Second and five. Sooners not particularly in a hurry now. 10.34 to go. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield sends a man in motion, takes the snap. Inside handoff, Anderson. That's going to be a loss. He was swallowed up as soon as he got the football back at the 25, a three-yard loss. It didn't work. Did it? Robert Landers got it. Third and long now, third and eight. Here comes Michael and Calcaterra. The Sooner's going to go five wide, it looks like. They need to get to the 17 for a first down. I think Baker knows what he wanted. He was signaling what he wanted to the bench. Under 10 to go. Mayfield surveys the Ohio landscape. Pointing out instructions to a receiver to his right. Blitz up the middle. Mayfield's going to heave one for the end zone. It is caught. Is he inbounds? He Incomplete. Caught it. It's close, Toby. I'm telling you. Jeff he caught, Bidette. It happened right in front of us. He's close to getting his feet in. Three-yard line. Bidette caught it. They say he was out of bounds. When you said Baker was trying to get the attention of a wide receiver, he saw that and was trying to get the attention of Bidette. Oh, I think he caught it. I think he got a foot in. I think he's in. I think he got a foot in. front of us. I think he was in. Bidette's telling the sidelines I caught that. It's an incomplete pass that plays under further review. Here's a replay. Bidette falling backwards, catches it, got a foot in. Sure he got is. a foot in. This is going to be first and goal around the three. If the if that was a catch by Ohio State on the other side. Oh, I don't know. Does he bobble the ball at all? No, no, no. The question is what hit first, his foot or his knee? Because ah. his knee hits the sidelines. His foot hits inbounds. I need to see another replay here. Brought to you by McIntyre Law, Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law. Here's a good look. Merv, what do you think here? Toe, toe touches first. That's a catch. That's a catch. What a catch, too. It's not a touchdown, but it's close. It's going to be first and goal with a three, unless something hanky happens with a replay here. After further review, the receiver gained possession of the ball, got his left foot down. It's first and goal at the three-yard line. Did you hear that roar? We're in Ohio Stadium. First and goal sooner. 
We've said it all weekend long since we got down here, Toby, and I don't know how much we've talked about it on the broadcast tonight. Regardless of what happens the rest of the way, this has been one of the most impressive representations of the Sooner Nation on the road in any environment. This has been jaw-dropping to see how many Sooner fans are here in the Columbus area. Twenty-four, thirteen, Oklahoma, first and goal. Nine thirty-eight to go. Baker under center. Rodney Anderson deep. First time tonight. Mayfield under center. Man in motion. Smallwood snap. Hands to Smallwood. Looking for the corner. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, H. Oh, no. Nine twenty-six to go. It's thirty to thirteen. And Oklahoma is having their way with the Buckeyes in the horseshoe. Good luck tackling Smallwood on the end around right there. He only goes about 225 pounds. And the other thing, too, they figure he's a receiver. He's not going to get carry the ball. <laughs> what a performance. The Sooners trailed this game 13-10. to 10, And they have rattled off 20, looking for 21 consecutive. Extra point is good. It's 31-13 Sooners with 9.26 to go. Wow. Here's your kickoff. Seibert high, not as deep, but into the end zone three yards deep, and Paris Campbell will be encouraged to take a knee and does so. Fourth quarter, Georgia 17, Notre Dame 16. That's a good one. Third quarter, USC 28, Stanford 17. Ohio State will start yet again from their 25-yard line. And I bet Mike Stoops is, as they have to go to the pass here at Ohio State, I bet Mike Stoops heats up JT Barrett. He hasn't been comfortable back there all night, and I think he trusts his secondary to go one-on-one -on -one with these wide receivers. Here we go. Weber at running back. Four wides. Barrett out of the shotgun, takes the football, wants to throw. Straight drop, four-man rush, has time across the middle, caught, and tackled immediately at the 34-yard line, K.J. Hill. Emmanuel Beal and Stephen Parker combining on the stop. It'll be second and one. Four wides. Barrett's got it. Flags fly at the snap, early movement on K.J. Hill. will be the seventh penalty tonight on the Buckeyes. Call starts. Offense. Number 73. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Oklahoma has only been whistled for two. That is a remarkable number considering the noise. 109,000. You're on the road. This crowd trying its best to discombobulate the opposing offense. They've been whistled for two penalties tonight. Second now and seven. Excuse me, second down and six now from the 29. Barrett throws right side, caught 36-yard line, first down, McLaurin, and he dives forward to the 40. Pickup of 11. 8.50 to go, 31-13 Sooners. They're going to give him all the way to the 42 on that. little softer coverage here, Ted. Yeah, they're sitting back a little bit. They're just trying not to give up the big play. Going to play some zone with some deep help. Keep everything in front of them. Weber to the right of Barrett. Barrett's got the football. Fakes a handoff. Has a pocket. Under pressure now and throws and lobs it into his own bench. He was hit by Caleb Kelly as he threw it. Caleb Kelly's been a nuisance for that Buckeye offense tonight. That was Merv's spotlight player before this game. That was a good pick. Caleb loves to play, and he's got a lot of tools. Second and 10. Second and 10 at the 22. Three wides tied in, right, 826 to go. Barrett awaits the football from Billy Price. He's got it. Back to pass. Steps up. Lobs late. Caught in Sooner territory by the tight end ball. It was close to being across the line of scrimmage, but he wasn't. To the Sooner 45 and a first down. It's a tough choice, but only three rushers. Sure gives him a better chance. 
First and 10 from the OU 45. Sooner showing blitz from the corner. Barrett's got it. Now they fall back. Four-man rush. JT looking middle. Throws middle. Caught across the middle. 32-yard line. Johnny Dixon. Parnell Motley tackles him immediately. They'll put it at the 33, but it's another first down. The Buckeyes are on the move here. And now Neville Gallimore slow to his feet. Yeah, we're playing a different defense, and they probably have to, but they're not putting any pressure on him, and those guys are getting open. And I think at some point now, after they cross the 40-yard the line and start to get deep into this territory, I think Mike Stoops is probably going to ramp up the aggressiveness here. Who we got hurry out here? Neville. Neville. Timeout on the field. 7.55 to go. Oklahoma leads Ohio State 31-13. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by the Riverwind Resort. Touchdowns. Stats, you might look how many consecutive completions Baker's a guy. It seems like a while since he's thrown an incompletion, but I could be wrong about that. Four wides. The back is Weber. Sooners have Devontae Lampkin. Q Overton up front, DJ Ward, five in a row, okay, thank you, JT's got it, fakes a handoff, looks right, throws deep, looking in zone, right corner for Benjamin Victor, it's incomplete, good job, Parnell Motley in blanket coverage, second down and 10, 747 to play, I tell you, Obo put a little pressure in his hip pocket right there, too, in spite of the few guys that are rushing. Four wides, pistol look. Now Weber moves to the right. Barrett going to throw again. Quick throw this time. Right side, caught at the 25. McLaurin couldn't get away from Motley. Good job. He hogtied him right there, a gain of eight. Third and two upcoming. Clock runs. Buckeyes have all three timeouts remaining. Urban Meyer's record at home since taking over at Ohio State, 34-2. and two. Buckeyes moving quickly. There's the snap. It is a handoff to Weber up the middle. 20 puts his shoulder down and barrels his way over Khalil Houghton to the 16-yard line. Now we got some shoving after the play. Emmanuel Beal mixed up with Brandon Bowen, the right guard. They break it up. It's an eight-yard run to the 17. 7-11 to go. Three wides, tight end right is Ball. Snap to Barrett. Play action. Looking left. Looking middle. Looking right. Throws right. Caught by Weber. The 15 out of bounds at the 14. Emmanuel Beal ushered him out. Short gain of three. 6.58 to play. 31-13 Sooners. Buckeyes on the march, but it's taken some time here. Four wides. Snap. Barrett. Back to pass. Throws. in zone. Intercepted again. Parnell Motley again. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. A late call by the back judge who says it hit the ground. Motley pleading his case. I don't know. You guys may have a better view up there on TV, but I think he caught that football. Unless he juggled it really late. Let's, let's get him to look at it. You know, this, you know, you got a reference back to the play on the sidelines by Mack early in the game. The Ohio State reception. We haven't seen a replay yet. Ohio State lining up. They're not going to whistle this. They get the snap off. Wow. Barrett throws an incomplete out in front of Hill. I can't believe they didn't replay that. Flag Review down. that. Flag is down in the backfield in the area of holding. And Motley looked like he had it, but when he hit the ground, the ball must have popped loose. It was We were shielded from here. It's either going to be... I declined it, I think. Yeah, they've declined it. Holding. Offense, number 59. Penalties decline, fourth down. Here we go, fourth down and seven. They're going to kick. Well, this will get them within. They need three scores, so this would get them within two. May have to try to recover an onside kick. Yeah. And they rush to the line here. Nurnberger. 
We call timeout, guys. We were having some problems with personnel. It's first time out of the half. I was worried for a moment we had about 13 guys out there out on the field, but we call timeout because of the confusion between whether or not they were going to go and they're going to stay safe or they're going to try to block it. Timeout on the field, 6.33 to go. Oklahoma 31, Ohio State 13. And Kirk getting, Herbstreet and Chris Fowler are our problem right now. That's he's giving his money worth. <clears throat> getting his money worth. All right, he says resume. Nurnberger tonight, two for two. This, however, would be his longest. He's made a 23 and a 24 yarder. <clears throat> this one from 32. Yeah, he'll be all right. Snap back, hold down, kick away, and it is good. The Buckeyes pulled it within 15, and let's see. You think onside kick here with all three timeouts remaining, Coach? Yeah, I think they do. I think they need to because the Sooners make one or two first downs. The game's over if they get the onside kick. Teddy yeah. Lehman. Oh, I'm sorry, Coach. Go ahead. No, I, 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 I think they probably will. I'm gonna, I, Ted, I'm in a conversation I was going to start, but I'm going to save it for the post game. Let's, uh, let's let them finish this off here first, hopefully. There's a ways to go before we start looking down the line. Chris well, Blank, what's it like down there? Asking, and I've got the answer for you. The okay, I know about. you've got the answer. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I know it's a genius answer, too. Looks like the Sooners are sending the hands unit out, guys. Business-like or jubilant down there, Chris? What do we got? Well, it was pretty jubilant whenever they got the interception and scored. More recently, it's settled down to be much more business-like, much more of the, this is where we expect it to be. Now they can recover this onside kick. It might return to more jubilant. Smallwood, Calcaterra, Parker, Lamb, Mead, Flowers, Michael Jones, Rodney Anderson all down there. Here's the onside, far side. It bounds over Mead and out of bounds. Woo! That hopped high and got over Jeffrey Mead's head. He was the last line of defense. But it squibbled out of bounds. You kick it over his head, it is high. Yeah. Jeffrey Mead had got up a little awkward, like he might have twisted something there. And the Sooners take over with 6.29 to go. Toby, it almost looked as if whenever Mead started to jump, his leg gave out on him. He's coming over to the attention of the trainers, and looks like it might just be an, another cramp issue. But as soon as he started to go up, his leg kind of gave out on him, so we'll keep an eye on it, but it looks like he's okay. And by okay, meaning he's in pain from a cramp, so we'll keep an eye on him. Sooners get it at the 47, their own 47. Or 46, what are we going to do here? Now, now we're moving over to the 44. I can't figure out where to put the football down. Now we're going back up to the 47, maybe the 49. 49, okay, there we go. Holy <laughs> cow. All right, Trey Sermon. This would have been some Ajay P. Ryan time a year ago. Salt the game away. Are they going to put it on the back of a freshman here? Let's see. Baker takes it. Hands to Sermon. 50. Bounces outside. 45. Lowers his shoulders. Slammed to the turf after a gain of nine. In the Buckeye 42. And Flowers has a great block. Goes in there and just cuts the DN right in half. And springs Sermon free through the line of scrimmage. They didn't look very inspired that play. They may have decided since they didn't get the onside that we'll get this over with. I got to say, you know, the, all the talk about the OUO line and the Ohio State D line coming into this game and those guys in white down there, the big uglies in white, have more than held their own tonight. Yeah, this has been an impressive performance. Sooners break the huddle. Baker under center. He'll sneak it forward for the first down near the 40. I think he's going to get it. They're going to spot this between the 40 and 41, but that's enough. Toby, there's one challenge here for guys like Orlando Brown Jr., Bobby Evans, Drew Samia, Ben Powers, Eric Rin, Dimitri Flowers. There's been a couple of late little knocks, a couple of cheap shots here late in this game. they got to make sure they don't let their emotions get too carried away here because Ohio State and those big guys up front have definitely tried to get underneath their skin the last few drives and force a personal foul. So far, Oklahoma has been able to keep its cool. 
First and 10 from the Buckeye 40, 521 to go. Flowers in motion. Now he goes back left into the line. Mayfield's got it. Hands to Sermon. Over the left side, wrapped up at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Look like a face mask down here. Timeout. Ohio State. Ohio State takes its first time out of the half. 30 second timeout. We've got 5 10 to play in Columbus. Ohio State came to Norman a year ago and partied on Owen Field. And you better believe if the Sooners can finish this off, they will return the favor. Second and 10 from the 40. Mayfield with Sermon and Flowers and a power pistol and three wides. Snap. Handoff. Sermon gets one. Up the middle, that's it. Third and nine, and Ohio State will use another timeout. Ohio State takes its second timeout of the half. 30 seconds. Do you put it in the air here, Coach? Probably. Chris, it's, Teddy? It's a, it's a great question, Ted, because they're going to burn their third timeout and be out of timeouts if you run it and don't get the first down. If you throw it, then you keep the timeout, and obviously college game to get the time stopped at a first down so I, don't, I, I think i'm with coach here teddy i think i'd take a chance put it in the air a trusted hand like a dimitri flowers maybe or even trey sermon's proven to be quite a weapon as a receiver out of the backfield well the one thing you got to remember is your quarterbacks uh only thrown about six incompletions on the entire season so you do trust him a little bit to complete the well, pass one in the second there, half tonight yes yeah. that's, that's it, why i gave that boat i think they believe in him well he's got lamb Lee Morris and Bedette if he wants to throw it. Sermon and Flowers in the backfield. Third and nine. Snap. Mayfield. Play action. Lobs it out. Flowers the catch. 40. 35. Spinning and he's going to be shy by two. He got it to the 32. Now, they're going to use their last time out. You could send Austin Seibert out to try a 50-yard field goal to seal it. Or you could punt it, pin him deep. Or you could go for it and try to end it here. Yeah. They're going to go. I see this look on Lincoln Riley's face as he talks to the headlinesman right now, trying to get a call. I think Ted's right. Toby, you know, we, we've talked about the the youthful enthusiasm of a coach like Lincoln Riley, the maybe kind of that gunslinger mentality. Right. Put it in the hands of Dimitri Flowers here. Put it in the hands of Trey Sermon. And as Ted just mentioned, you got a quarterback that's thrown one in completion so far in the second half. At a minimum... You at least line up like you are going for it and try a hard count to get them off sides. It's possible. That is the sixth catch for Dimitri Flowers tonight for 99 yards and a touchdown. And if you do go for it, he's not a bad option. It's He's seemingly been open all night every time they've looked his way. Five minutes exactly to go. 31-16 Oklahoma. The Sooners have outgained them 482 to 315 tonight. Baker has outthrown Barrett 387 to 143. Sooners have only run the ball for 95 yards, but Baker's been so good it hasn't mattered, and that Oklahoma defense has been so good it hasn't mattered. They're going for it. Sermon the back, Flowers at tight end, three wides. Sooners have to get to the 30 for a first down. Ohio State out of timeouts. This could be your game. Flowers goes slot left now. Baker in the gun. Takes the snap. Blitz up the middle. Hand off Sermon. Makes a move. Powers to the 30. And you can unhitch the wagon. Put the ponies in the bar. The Sooners have come into the horseshoe. And they have beaten the Buckeyes. Oh, mama. First and 10 at the 30, and there's nothing the Buckeyes can do about it now. What a performance on the road in the home of the number two ranked team in the nation tonight. On prime time. A bunch of guys nobody knows except for Baker Mayfield. They'll be household names now and listen to the crowd chanting OU, OU in Ohio Stadium. Mayfield's got it. 
Hands to Sermon, up the middle, weaves right, wrapped up at the 27, and he's tackled at the 26, a gain of four. The offense shot itself in the foot repeatedly in the first half, but you felt like at halftime, despite a 3-3 three to -three tie, that Oklahoma had the better of it if they could just get out of their own way in the second half. The Buckeyes started the second half like gangbusters, but the Sooner defense bowed its neck, and the offense lit it up. Yeah, the uh, first half, they went on downs and didn't make it. They fumbled and lost the ball two times in a row, and then they missed a field goal. Second down and six. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. Hands to Sermon. Wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Well, everybody here wearing red tonight, so it was hard to tell for three and a half quarters where the Sooner fans were. But it's easy to tell now. Look at the upper deck on the north end. They're the ones remaining. They poured out 10,000, 15,000 plus some of the estimates here in Columbus this weekend. And they have been rewarded. This will go down as one of the great road wins in OU football history. They haven't beaten a top two team in a true road game since 2000. Kansas State ranked number two. OU won the national championship that year. Clock runs. Sooners let it run. They're going to use a timeout with 2.46 to go. From the 27, third down, snap. Handoff, flag flies. Sermon breaks a tackle. He's got the first down to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 6-yard line. Let's see what the flag's about. It was at the line of scrimmage. If the score holds or if OU scores again, this will go down as Ohio State's Biggest home loss by margin since 2000. This is going on the Sooners. Illegal formation. Five men in the backfield on the offense. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. 2.38 on the clock. 31-16 Oklahoma. It'd I'd also say, longer. Toby, we've answered some questions already. We're in the second game of the year, and one of the big questions in off-season storylines is, what skill players are going to show up? And I got a couple of true freshmen for you. How about C.D. Lamb and Sermon? Sermon, the more you got, hand this ball, ball hand the ball to the guy, the better he gets. Every run, he's got more confidence. He's more physical. I mean, this is impressive. They'll back it up to the 32, third down and 12. Mayfield hands to Sermon up the middle, 30, puts his shoulder down, 27 churning, and he's down there, a gain of five. It'll be fourth down, 2.04 to go. Doesn't look like they're going to kick. They're going to go for it here. 150, clock runs. Yeah, block kick would not be mm -hmm. good right now. Don't forget we played a big portion of this game without one of our best players in Mark Andrews and without one of our starting safeties in Will Johnson yeah, and a starting guard go down. Power pistol, Sermon and Flowers. Now Sermon moves to the right. Fourth down and seven from the 27. Mayfield's got it. Play action. Rolling right, throws. Flowers caught it. Can't get to the corner. He's knocked down, and Ohio State will take over at the 28. You know, and it was really smart what Trey Flowers just did. Realized he wasn't going to be able to pick up the first down. So what did he do? Protected the football, absorbed the hit, and went down. Didn't try to do too much. Allow the fumble. They knew they're in a good spot here with a minute 18 left and a two-score lead. And Lincoln Riley now is pushing his defense to get on the field in his office to get off because they were, they were hugging and feeling good about things. But Coach Riley a little bit angry because of the premature celebration there. 118 to go. Can I say one more thing, Toby? Please. Baker Mayfield is the best quarterback in the country, best football player in the country, bar none. Four wides. Weber to the left. Barrett back to pass. Looking deep, throws deep across the middle, incomplete. He overthrew Paris Campbell. Thank you. You're not going to get an argument. From this radio crew, Ted Lehman. And I don't think you're going to get an argument from much of America after tonight. 27 of 35 for 386 and three touchdowns.
after the, I think was the first three passes of the game were incomplete, right? Not the first three, but three oh. of the first five on the opening drive were, yes. Barrett back to pass. Under pressure, Oboe's giving oh, chase. He's being held. There There's it. flags. There Barrett it. throws down the sidelines. Caught, but this isn't going to count. Out of bounds at the 47 is Benjamin Victor, but Oboe was being held. And we've got 104 to go. Holding offense, number 74. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. That's a money transfer from one pocket to the other in an upcoming NFL draft right there between an Ohio State left <laughs> tackle and an Oklahoma pass rusher. I'll tell you who else is cheering this on tonight is the Big 12 Conference. They took a black eye in week one and desperately needed a good showing from Oklahoma tonight. And there's a lot of guys around the Plains states that are high-fiving with this result tonight. Barrett under pressure, throws across the middle, caught. Spinning away out of the tackle, Paris Campbell, but he stumbles and falls down at the 34. Emmanuel Beal hit him. That is four yards shy of a first down. 49 seconds. Four wide, shotgun, Barrett's got it. Looking left, flings it out to Weber. Caught on the run, first down to the 40. He stepped out of bounds somewhere over there on the Sooner sidelines with 35 seconds to go. Well, JT Barrett, I'm sure, is going to be in the hot seat here in Columbus this week. Kevin Wilson probably going to be in the hot seat as well. Baker Mayfield, Ted, started the game two for five. Since then, 25 of 30. Incomplete on three of his first five passes, then only five of his next 30. With some amazing plays sprinkled in there. Great throws, great decision making. Barrett Ooh. hit, sacked. Mark Jackson got him. At the 36, and let's see if Urban Meyer throws in the towel. Third sack tonight for the Sooner defense. That one belongs to Mark Jackson back at the 36, 15 seconds. Ohio State's going to try to get off one more play. Look at that Sooner sideline. It has broken into pandemonium. <laughs> Three seconds, two seconds, last play of the game. Barrett looks left, throws deep. It is caught at midfield, out of bounds. Win column, Sooners, game over. Lincoln Riley is still undefeated. Thanks to the magical Mayfieldian ways of his quarterback and a great performance by his defense tonight. Final score in Columbus. Oklahoma 31 and Ohio State 16.